warming up. Come on, jazz hands, dudes. Jazz hands. Let's do damn it. Let's do the jazz hands properly. I need to see them. There we go. Jazz hands. What's up? We're live from the Big Daddy Gun Studios. Put on, put on your specially suppressed big girl panties tonight. What does that entail? Because we are talking, we are talking the Share Act. And if you don't know what that is, that is the um, the uh, new attempt <laughs> to get silencer reform passed in Congress. So we're talking that and a whole bunch of other news things. And we got to, we all have some cool surprises and stuff to show folks out there. We've got our buddy, Babyface P. Check a look at that. Babyface. Babyface P. That's why. I mean, <laughs> if it's not obvious to you why we call him Babyface P, that that um. That and thing he's growing, like, that beard he's growing on his face does not hide the baby face. Four's like. Yeah, that's right. So there you go. That's cheap uh, beer. What is he drinking already? From Golden, Colorado. It's like seven o'clock. Of course I'm drinking. Oh, wow. <laughs> Coors Light. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> and we've got my friend, my friend, my supporter, financial backer, <laughs> Mr. Sure Walter fired? Keller. Check this out. Stand up. Let's all see that t shirt you're wearing. Look, Walter's got the official Who Moved My Freedom t-shirt right there with a very handsome gentleman in cartoon form on it. Oh, okay. Okay, now you're blinding the people. Okay, there you go. That's awesome. So, so Walter got his t-shirt from Forge from Freedom. I ordered it before the storm and it came today. Yeah, and I see you got the uh, the green one. Very nice. Nice selection. Yes, I like that army. See, I can drive around this thing like in my home V. And people, right, right. They see a Humvee go by, and you're wearing a green shirt. They wave at you, like you know. Right, exactly. You yeah. you feel like you're in the military. Yeah. You don't know anything. Okay. Uh huh. Well, that's that's very nice. That's a nice color. I you know. It is. It is. Yeah, I applaud you on that. So I want to say what's up to everyone who's watching us. Everyone on the hang in the hangout. We are here. Let me shout out the folks in the hangout. The Tyvin Show. Tyvin Show got in here Tyvin. first. So what's up to the Tyvin Show? And of course, also, what's up to Cherry Wine, his 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 lovely wife, uh, Walter? You know, okay. you yesterday we learned about Anglophile, babyface. Yeah. You know what Anglophile means, right? Anglophile, no. Yeah, well, Walter is an Anglophile. Oh, I've been. So, you, so, you, <laughs> so you, 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 no, no. You can go look that up, babyface. <laughs> so you know, it, like we are like the pub. We're like the local pub now. We're like the watering hole because. Ooh, you know, uh, Cherry Wine, who is actually Tyvin's wife, came here to the show to find Tyvin's butt. Tyvin, please call your wife. So <laughs> shout out, <laughs> shout out to Tyvin. Also to Chris B. Got Chris B. in the house. Chris B. There you go, Chris B. Yeah, he's in Chris here. Oh, in there. We got Joe Carpenter. Is Eltenda in there? Okay, what's yeah. up to Eltenda? Yeah. Chris yeah. Bullis is in here. High rate, Highway Run seventy seven. He's headed back to Miami. Special shout out to Highway Run 77. Careful on the roads. Oh, yeah. Please get home safe. Self pounded down. Get back to home to Miami safe. Um, you know, hopefully uh, there, it's not too bad there. You know, let us know when you get back and all that kind of stuff. Hit us up. Yes, Altenda, sir. like I said, Altenda. I see Altenda in there. Yes, Jeff. All right. If I if I missed you, DC2 Mega Boost. If I missed you. Definitely do a roll call and I will shout you out here as we're going on. I want to remind everyone that's watching us right now, make sure you click the like button. Oh, make yeah, sure yeah. you share this video on your social media. Of course, you I better know. be subscribed to us. So, mm -hmm. you know, make sure you're subscribed. Lola says I need to shout out Tango Hunter. So special mm -hmm. shout out to Tango Hunter. What's hey. up? So, um, babyface people, yesterday we were talking about Hurricane Irma. You weren't here. We try to get you here. What were you up to? I was passed out. I took a nap. <laughs> That's what I figured, basically. <laughs> Hank left after we did some, some videoing in my place, and I was like, mm, this couch is really cozy. And then I fell asleep. <laughs> Knocked out. <laughs> That's what I figured, man. You were I was like, he's not responding. He yeah. is knocked out right now. <laughs> yep. So how so how were you in the hurricane? Tell folks how you did. Yeah, so we, we did all right. We lost power for probably 18 hours. So it went out Sunday night, I think, at around midnight. And we got it back Monday at 7 or 8 o'clock. So it wasn't too bad. Uh, being without power sucks. But the um, first thing now is, is trying to find gas. So I actually just finally, it looks like the Gainesville gas stations are finally starting to get 
back up to speed. Uh, so I was able to go fill up my tank, but I haven't gone into the office all week because I haven't wanted to use gas just in case. Right. So you know what we need to do for Babyface P? We actually need to start a special fund to get Babyface P a microphone. Is it bad again? <laughs> yes, it's bad. Okay, I'm switching. I'm switching. I'm switching. I'm switching. I'm switching. I'm switching. I'm yeah, I just don't understand if it's his beard. Where? Does he have a Patreon account? Where? Come on, get him some Patreon. Yeah, I mean, we really need to get this together and get Isa. I don't know what the deal is. And he so, uses so, all this stuff. You know, he's he's the one out of the two of us that plays video games and everything online. And so he's using this stuff, I guess, more than we are. So, um, yeah, we'll wait for him to sign back in. What's up with you, Walter? How's everything going today? You got your power back last night. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in, I'm in the house. Um, it's nice and cool. Um, my family unit's out doing some shopping. Um, okay. I'm, I'm all right. I'm good. Um, okay. We're at the shop working on stuff. I mean, you know, it's... It's Friday already. Tomorrow, it's kind of weird, you know, since we didn't work part of the week. Doesn't but, feel like a Friday. Did no, you... it doesn't feel like a Friday at all. So yeah, how was your last night? You got a nice sh hot shower. I had a nice hot shower. What did we uh, do? Um, you were nicely air conditioned. You had the yeah. silk sheets and the Barry White going. Sit, <laughs> Sit around. Uh, I didn't do anything special last night, believe it or not. No, man, we were all like pulling for you. I know, but you know, we were all hoping. I think the yeah, best the best time hope. Is completely unexpected. That's oh yeah, sneak up on it, huh? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. always my that's my strategy with Lola. Tap tap sneak tap. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I did, wait a second, did Babyface also switch shirts? Oh, uh, he's a groom drinker again. Oh, we can't even hear you, so no. he said something, but I have whoa, no idea. Whoa, 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 <laughs> oh. whoa! Lola, Lola just heard what I just said. <laughs> So I just she just reacted to what I just said. So you guys can see the delay there. So we have a bunch of stuff that we're going to talk about tonight. A whole okay. bunch of stuff, right? Sure. So did you bring any cool guns? Uh, you know, me? No, not really. Well, no. you know, I was yeah, digging around cool. in my room as the hurricane approached, just seeing if I could find some ammunition I thought I had here. And I ran across this. Uh, I got a magazine here, a drum magazine for. Is the, that a twenty-two? The Walter G. It's for the G twenty two Walter, like that bullpup you've got. Oh, Walter. that's a drum magazine. Is that okay? And it'll work in the P twenty two also. Oh, okay. Yeah, we need to we need to do that video. Yeah, this one's a nice though. This is all machined out of aluminum and the whole nine yards. So. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, we, yeah, we're still waiting on baby face. Baby so that's cool. So who who makes that? Um, who makes that? This one is made by Alliance Armament. In Boonville, Indiana. Okay. So yeah, it was. I got it a couple years ago. I think I bought it when I was at the creek, of course. Okay. Uh, somebody was selling them there. Um. But um, yeah, I just rediscovered it. It was it was stashed away. So yeah, we'll have to shoot it. Um, right. Absolutely. Pressed, of course. Yes, we must shoot it. Yep. 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 Um. What else? Uh, train wreck. Uh, shout out to train wreck. He says I uh, went and got a wild. Haircut, and now everyone thinks I'm Hank's brother. <laughs> you have to share a picture with us somehow. I'd like to see yeah. this haircut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you uh, can you guys hear me now? Yep, we can hear yeah, you. Can hear you now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's not the microphone. I, it's a very nice microphone, and I use it to play video games. It has something to do with Google Hangouts. Google Hangouts just hates it. I don't know why. Uh, what is the brand of this microphone? Audio Technica. Oh well, see there it's you a, go. It's a forty forty. I think. Yeah, you need to get. You, is it's that like a, is it like USB? No, no, it goes into a sound card. It's like a four hundred dollar microphone. That's the problem right there, man. It goes into the. <laughs> there's some kind of. <laughs> there's some kind of static going through that sound card. But it works just fine on like Discord or Skype or anything else. It's just Hangout, but hates it. I have no idea why. Yeah, Trainwreck says he's a strange, uh, strange brother now. Okay, let's see, let's see the haircut. I'd love to see it. Listen, you need to get a USB microphone, man. Seriously, buy me one. Yeah, we need to. We'll we'll we'll, no, we'll drum up some funds. We'll, we'll drum, I'll borrow, When you buy the t-shirts, you I'll were supposed to buy five t-shirts. We're supposed to see five different colors from you. I'll borrow one of yours and show you that it'll still screw up. Oh, okay. We'll see. We'll get you all hooked up. So uh, Walter was Walter was showing um, Walter was just talking about this uh, 22 magazine, and he we were talking about videos that we have to do because we have a 22 bullpup. So yep. you know now check this out. 
This is the K&M M17S in 308. And this awesome primary arms one to eight that's on here. Oh, that's this is the, the platinum. Pla this is the platinum. Oh. So Babyface and I are supposed to be doing a video on this. We've been prepping. And we're going to do like a big video on the optic. And plus we get another chance to show off the 308 from K&M arms. Yeah. So I figured I'd bring that in and show you guys. So this is the platinum. This is the platinum optic from uh, primary arms. This is like their top of the line. No, that thing, <laughs> primary that thing arms. is drool worthy. It's yeah, it's really nice. Um, yep. the, the, ja the glass is Japanese, and there's a whole bunch of features. I don't want to give it all away right now. We are going to talk about this, but I figured this is also a good time to plug the fact that in our description, we have a bunch of links to primary arms optics, including this one, where uh, when you buy it through the links, they're affiliate links, so that, that yeah. does help support the Hank Strain situation. And maybe we can get a USB microphone for Babyface's <laughs> ass. Um, but it does help support us. It, when you click on the links, you get free shipping. And um, you also get either the mounts or the, the uh, rings that go along with it. So Excellent, excellent. Check, out, check it out, including this one, including the Platinum is in there. And we have some other ones that are in there. Um, look, do, do you, does anyone remember this gun? Check this out. Long, long time ago. This what is a oh, look at this. My yeah. sweet, my sweetness just brought me some sweetness. Oh, what is nice. this? Are you trying to show us? Oh, yeah. Uh, Peggy is really spoiling you lately, man. Right. You know, you know, Peggy is really deserving of some special treatment. What, yeah. like some jewelry or something? Um, yeah, you know, is, is that what she's into? Jewelry. Oh, she likes, she likes that, the jewelry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So there you go. Make sure you get her something very well, nice. I, I can. And, I can take you to the hookup. We have a jewelry store. My family has. Oh. Oh, really? You take your wholesale shopping. Oh, okay. You're going to have to hook everybody up now. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, I have good taste jewelry, also. Jewelry's jewelry. always nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lola says Lola. jewelry's always nice. Where's your? Where's this jewelry store, Babyface? In Tampa? Yeah, it's in Tampa. But Walter is literally across the bridge from it. Oh, what's the name yeah. of the store? I'm not going to say that one. Oh, oh now you don't want to. Okay. Video. Fine. All right. <laughs> not to go be a diamond source or something, is it? No, 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 no. It's a small little mom and pop shop. Oh okay. Okay. Yeah. Get get permission or whatever. Check this out. Do you guys do you guys remember this? This is a super lightweight build from Lola Strange. Oh oh oh. Yep. Right on the really Kaiser well. US. This whole gun. This whole gun was like five pounds, right, Lola? And this has the uh, primary arms uh, red dot on it. The uh, MD ADS. Let me show you guys what's on there. If I, I gotta get, get me some of thing. those. Yeah. That thing so, is awesome. Yeah. So this is also this is also in the description the uh, primary arms thing. So you guys should go check that out. That this honestly, is just, that MD ADS is one of my favorite red dots. Little like micro red dots. Yeah. For the price, it's awesome. Yeah, it is. Uh, what fifty thousand hours? I think. Right? Yeah, I have I have one yeah. sitting in the safe on my um, my nine mil SBR, and it's been running. The battery's been running for like six. Yeah, where is now. it? You need to bring it out. Uh, I'll put it on this tonight, and we'll shoot this this weekend. Uh, what is that? that? Wait, hold on a second. What is that? So this is this is the 300 Blackout SBR. So it's just my standard SBR lower, but we got some 300 Black. 300 Blackout. And you've been reloading, right? So, yeah, I got something cool to show off. Let's see here. Where are my reloads? Oh, today I ordered a couple things. So we got, we got 300 Black, 300 Black reloads. Using a 300 and 330 grain cast projectile that I made myself. Cool. Something like, something like that. Um, and so got, you're, you've got a mold for those, right? Yeah, I actually brought that up. I was going to show you guys. So it's, okay. I'm using the. Um, it's That's an a NOE. hog. That's a hog killer there. Yeah, it's, and it's really quiet. See, it's an NOE. Uh, let's see, 311 230 mold. Um, I think I have the four cavity mold, um, but yeah, this thing this thing is crazy quiet. I'm running it over eight and a half grains of H110, shooting it just under a thousand feet per second, and it's insanely quiet. Wow, very very nice. So, very super nice. Cool. Yeah. So, what, so so what's that costing you per round? For yeah, the, so uh, per round the lead is basically free. It's wheel weights. Brass is free because I'm picking its range scrap. Um, so basically, all you pay for is well, you have to have the equipment to do it, which I never are consider you, that as a cost because I'm a buy it anyways. Are you getting that? Are you getting that those uh, casings off the hacienda? hacienda? Oh hell yeah! 
That's on the mind, man. <laughs> yeah, that uh, means so, we all. That means we all get three hundred blackout, right? Me, me Walter. So it's uh, it's price of the primer and the powder, which is like six cents. So it's nothing. Super super cheap. Oh, okay. The only thing is you have to have. When you talk about a suppressor, you have to have a suppressor that comes apart and you can clean. So I'm using my Mystic because I can take it apart and throw it in uh, like paracetic acid. That'll eat away all the lead. Um, wouldn't shoot it through an Omega or you know any of the nice cans, the 30 cal cans that we have. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, did you throw some hog grease on there to help you when you go clean yeah, that out yeah, later that on? Yeah, stuff, that stuff is like a miracle worker. You put it on the rails that, that actually come in contact with the suppressor. It makes it way easier to take apart. Yeah. So there you go. So Walter, how many rounds do you need of this 300 blackout? <laughs> how many rounds do you need, Walter? I, I need like I'll, I'll I have need a build, thousand. <laughs> I'll have to build another 300 blackout gun. I don't have one right now. So. Oh man. Yeah. yeah. I I need a I need a thousand rounds. So there you go. <laughs> you come. You come. I'll make. Uh, I'll show you how to make it. You can put it your put it together for yourself. Oh, it's like that now. <laughs> It's like that. You see what you see what we get for like letting him get the get the shell casing. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You, you know, I've got apps. Uh, it's cool that you use the shell casing. But oh, guess, you got what? guess what, baby face? Nice. Look at that. The Fostec new one, huh? Echo two just arrived in the mails, yo. That's a uh, that's a 22 build good thing there. Uh, well, I was just thinking, you know, 300 blackout. No, oh, 300. There you blackout. go. You know, we need to do something 300 blackout, maybe something well, SBR, something intricately suppressed. We can, we can dump it. Lightweight. Maybe we can dump it into maybe. this lower this weekend, and uh, I'll bring over like 100 rounds of 300 blackout. We'll blow through it. Yeah, yeah. So we should do something. That's another. Yeah. We've got a bunch of videos. I know there's people out there wondering, like, if we're doing regular videos. Yes, we are. we got a bunch of regular videos. <laughs> We were also waiting for it to cool down a little bit, where it's not so crazy when awesome. we go outside to make videos. Yeah. It, not that it's, you know, after the hurricanes went through, we are back to total humidity now. Yeah. So it rained this afternoon here, so it's back to normal. Oh, yeah. I got one more thing to show off before we get into news. Okay. So as you can see in my description, my Python has wood. I got some yeah. nice, nice new grips for my Python. Python. So before, where are the other old junk ones? Oh, I don't know where I put them. I was running. Oh, here we go. So before I was running uh, these old um, like officer model grips that I had sitting around. Went to Ultimont Grip Company and bought some rosewood python grips. So these are their actual python grips. I like it because those are bigger. I know you got oh, little baby hands, but that has to it, feel better. It fits your hand so much better, and the recoil yeah. is so much more manageable with the big, with the big grips. Plus, yeah. it just looks it just looks perfect. So you <laughs> shot it already? Shot it today. The grips came in this afternoon. Yeah. I, I took it to the range and shot it. That's the awesomeness of living. Like, obviously, we've got a, a range in the backyard, but Babyface the it's range like is around the corner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> around the corner. Yeah. What do you have, Walter? What do you want to show us? I know you said you ordered some stuff. I well, see today I ordered. Um, I fell. I fell for some sales uh, advertising stuff from Palmetto State Armory. I ordered one of those, um, you know, pay what you get for AR tens, <clears throat> um, for six hundred and thirty nine dollars. What? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, I'm yeah. sorry. Say that again. <laughs> AR ten. Yeah, yeah. Wait till you get to see it, and then what? you shoot it. All right. AR ten from where? Uh, Palmetto State Armory. That was oh, their dealer. That was their dealer offering. It's a little bit more on for the public. Oh, okay. When we talked, we were talking about that the other day, right? Yeah, uh, we were talking about it with ago. Patrick from the Firearm Blog. Right. Yes. Right. Okay. And, and so you got one of those? Oh, you ordered one. I ordered one. I, I and I figured, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna shoot that some bitch, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll and we'll we'll compare who who's got who's got nice uh, expensive. Well, anyways. Um, and I also ordered a um, nine millimeter upper and a nine millimeter lower AR style. Nice. Mm -hmm. Is it uh, Colt lower or Glock lower? It's Glock lower. Nice. Okay. Right, yeah, they, had those on, they had those on sale too. So, what was the price in the lower? <laughs> it was with a brace. It was like two oh nine. I my lower by itself was like two fifty. Now that was back before they were super popular. In the upper, complete upper. Was like two seventy nine or two forty nine, something like that. So you have a whole nine mil pistol AR for under, build under for like five something. Yeah, Jesus, yeah. that's yeah. crazy. So, yeah. what do you want to do? You want to compare that to a high end three hundred eight? Is that what you're saying? Well, I mean, you know, like Will says, you know, you can ha you can you can shoot and see who has butt pain first. 
you know, or who 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 starts to uh, that doesn't I don't like the the sound of that. <laughs> but but <laughs> me. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, when you when you when your when your two thousand dollar gun starts to fail just as fast as a six hundred dollar gun. Oh, okay. You know, that's that's what he's kind of meaning by that. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whether so you want to do you? I'm, I'm, it sounds like you want to set up a challenge of some sort. Yeah, you know, I'm you know I could you know I don't. Okay, who's providing the three hundred eight? I have no idea. Babyface. I volunteer babyface. I can throw some of these in there. <laughs> <laughs> there's some I've, decent. There's some decent deals on three hundred eight right now. That Malaysian surplus. That Malaysian, yeah. Who? Um, it's, uh, it's, what's that cool. casing? It's Berdan primed, but still, you know, who cares for the price? You know, it's yeah. not okay. Bad. Okay. Um, but yeah, no, just you know, just shoot it and you know, and, and compare it, and you know, and just see. It. You mm -hmm. don't have to. You don't have to. We don't have to burn it up or anything, but. I just want to see how it runs versus you know other things. I don't have I don't have a real expensive AR-10 because I'm cheap. So, okay. <laughs> um, wait, wait, aren't you making a Lottie? <laughs> well, yeah, 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 I'm cheap, yeah. Except I'm making a, a 12 millimeter. <laughs> That's different. The Lottie's different, but yeah. Um, I only have like about 20 military vehicles in my in my yard <laughs> right now. But I'm not buying a high-end 308. I wish I had a yard big enough to put one. <laughs> um, you could put them in mine. I told you that. You can bring them to the hacienda anytime. Well, my anytime. dad said I could do that too. So I, you know. Yeah. Oh, but you know, I think I will curate it a little bit better. Not trying to, not trying to talk badly about Mr. Keller. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I mean, look, if you put them on the hacienda, we will. You know, I think some of them already have Safety Harbor logos all over them. Yes, they do. Yes, they yeah. do. So every time we make videos, you know, that, you forget, be in the background. Get, that has to get from Safety Harbor up to Gainesville something. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's just it's just a slow ride. That's all it is. Uh, it, yeah. one, at, one at a time. One at a time. At 55 miles per hour. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, I'm sure we'll get some volunteers to come up with you if you want. <laughs> uh, I've, I've done it. I've drove at 55 all day long. It makes for a long day. So. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I can imagine. But we should, we, you know what? We should get something up there on the Hacienda, you know? I, I say I say the Humvee. Oh, oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right, baby face? I think the Humvee. That's, That's right. I'll take the Humvee up there, yeah. Yeah, you know, you as long as you leave the keys and stuff like that so we can move it around if, in case we need to. Of course, of course. <laughs> you know, we're, we're not going to drive it and go anywhere. No, no, no. no. Just, we'll just, McDonald's, just to McDonald's. In, in where? In, in... <laughs> you know, wherever. Gainesville. Yeah. <laughs> I understand. I understand. <laughs> no, um, so, no, I, I, I ordered those, and um, and I, and like I said, the AR, the nine millimeter stuff, I'm gonna definitely gonna, that's gonna end up with um, with a Kest stock on it, um, and then the 308 is probably gonna end up with a Kest stock, and this, the the AR10 is gonna end up with a Kest stock too. So <laughs> why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, but it's I, I'm not a, I'm not a, um, the the nine millimeter has brace on it, and I, if it's gonna have a brace, it'll have a tail hook brace on the back. So um. It comes okay. with the SB SB armament one, I think it's called. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, when are you guys putting those out? Are you guys back to? Um... Soon as my machinist returns from his um, um, hurricane oh, Chris, vacation. Chris isn't back yet. <laughs> no, no. Monday. Okay. Does Chris does Chris watch watch these hangouts? I hope so. You might be watching. So if you're watching, yeah. Chris, bless your heart. Yeah. Shout out! Here. Shout out to Chris. What's up? <laughs> bless your heart. <laughs> Okay. Come on back. Bless your heart. Uh, you, Chris, Chris knows what that means. <laughs> so, uh, but shout out to Chris. I guess Chris hasn't um, come back to Florida yet, huh? Not yet. No. Well, his 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 significant other is a in a school teacher, so they're off all week. Oh, oh yeah, down here. So there's no hurry for her to get back. I guess so. Um, yeah, my son that's in high school actually went back to school today, and I was so glad. <laughs> I woke up and I was shocked. <laughs> that to be the only person in the house, it was so. I was like, "Oh, awesome!" <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, hey, also yeah. tomorrow is college. Like the colleges aren't starting till Monday. Yeah, tomorrow is Spencer's birthday. Oh, okay. Yeah, he turns eighteen tomorrow. So, um, oh wow. Um, I'm gonna throw this out there. I know you guys are a long ways away. We're having a bowling party for him um, at the bowling okay. alley. Okay. So, um, I know. If you well, want to drive off, are you are you inviting everyone that's party? watching this now to come to the bowling party? Is that what you're saying? Uh, which, which bowling alley is this in Safety Harbor? I bet you there's only one. <laughs> Someplace in the Tampa Bay area, yeah. 
<laughs> Safety um, Arbor Bowling Arena. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Lola's like, why can't you do it on the weekend so we could actually, you know, come oh, to this thing? All right. Because it's we, his we birthday tomorrow. Well, we didn't even know if we were going to be able to do it at all, depending on the storm. So, um, okay. Everybody's powered back up. So, uh, so yeah. Lawrence Thurrock says I'm going to be bowling 50 BMG. <laughs> uh, Shooting bowling balls with a 50, I guess. Yeah, we could do that, but not in the bowling alley. That might get a little too much. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, you know, maybe if we get it closed. But you know what? Happy birthday to Big Spencer. Spencer. Okay. Big Spencer. That's how, I remember. Yeah. That's how I remember him. If anyone out there knows Spencer for hire, like oh. whenever I see whenever I see Walter's son Spencer, I go, Spencer. And then he's like, what the hell is wrong with this guy? <laughs> this guy is 100% retarded. <laughs> now, now, if you yeah. can ask him about, um, you know, Marvel stuff and, uh, you know, all that Yeah, stuff. he knows all that, but he doesn't know about Spencer for Hire. Well, we, <laughs> that's, like, actually, way you, over. We were doing Warner Brothers trivia the other night, and that was a Warner Brothers show, I guess, and it came up in the trivia thing. Oh, Spencer for Hire? Yeah, yeah. You need to make him watch that show so that when I say Spencer to him, he gets the <laughs> reference because it's getting weird. They also mentioned the uh, Spencer for Hire sidekick, who was named, I think, um, he was a black dude. I think he was. Yeah, Rob. that's the guy who said Spencer. Oh, what was his name? It was. Um, um oh man, that Rob. guy's in. No, that guy's in a lot of stuff. Actually, that guy was in the Big Hit, which is one of my favorite movies. Yeah. The Big Hit. It's a you know, it's a totally ridiculous gun movie. But he was also in uh, Deep Space. Uh, I think Deep Space Nine. He was the captain, uh, in Deep Space Nine. Which, yeah, I can't remember his name right now, but he's a cool... We watched Deep Space. Oh, 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 I know who you're talking about. We, I, we used to watch yeah, that. Yeah, that guy, that actor from Spencer for Hire was the That's captain. The same guy? He's nine. Yeah, same guy, same dude. Oh, he's cool. Should we Should we IMDB? Hold on, let me IMDB sure, it right it, now. It, it, yeah. It, yeah. You know, no, people are here like, man, we tuned in so that we can watch, you know, <laughs> so we can hear these guys <laughs> talk about <laughs> suppressors and stuff like that, you know. The Tyvon show has been found. Oh, okay. He's okay. Going back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tyvin Joe, please call me. man called Hawk. Yes, Hawk. Yeah, that was his Hawk. name. That was his name. Hold on. I'm pulling it up here. And da, 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 da. Avery Brooks. Avery oh, okay. Brooks. There you okay, go. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Very, very cool dude. Didn't uh, Spencer for hire, didn't he keep his car in his house? In, 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 uh, in his, in Spencer. Is that the one where he drove in and it had a turntable in his house and it, it spun it around? The, one of those. No. I, are you talking about Knight Rider or something? No, no. One of those detective remember. cool guys had a his house. In, he pulled his house into his his car into his house. Um, and there was a and there, and he had a turntable. Wow. Turn around somehow. Uh, okay, that was that would either be Knight Rider. I'm thinking or. Um, Maybe my no Miami Vice didn't have that because what's his name? Um, what's his name was on a boat. I don't know where Tubbs was. In my, I can't remember where the hell did Tubbs live in Miami. Know, See, all of this is way over Babyface's head. So that's a good question. No, he has no clue. Look at him right here. He's like, I'm cleaning a Beretta. What are these old people talking about? I can't remember where Tubbs lived. Yeah. Yeah. He never saw Spencer. For, yeah, I don't remember where Tubbs lived. Probably at some chick's house. Well, you know, that's you know. That's where Tubbs lived. Okay, all right. So, you know, um, I think we're here. Let's, you know, I want to remind everyone again to hit the like button. Make sure you share this on social media. We're going to talk about this. I think uh, Lawrence Lerwick was saying that um, Silencer Co. CEO had something to say about the SHARE Act um, or, or one of the CEOs of one of these companies. Let us know so we can go look up that video and see what he had to say. Um, so there's a whole bunch of news on the SHARE Act all over the place, but the one I'm going to read is from the Truth About Guns, and it says House Natural Resources Committee passes bill with share silencer reform attached. So supporters of law of uh, suppressor law reform have been cobbling together a bill that can make it through a famously fractious and lethargic Congress the same way that Hadrian built his wall brick by brick. So there's a Hadrian reference in there. Uh, no idea. We have to look that one up. <laughs> as, as, <laughs> do you know what? Do you know who Hadrian is? Because I don't know. The only person I know trying to build a wall is Trump. Yeah. Well, it, it, that might that's be one of the cute names they've given him, or something. So. Yeah. Um. No. 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 That's probably that's that's some kind of Greek mythology or something. Sounds hey, like. Tubbs didn't live in a van. 
<laughs> no, that was Mr. T. <laughs> Did that he? was Mr. T, I think, that lived in the van in the 18th. He says he lived in a he lived it down by the river in a van. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, we'll we'll look that up. We'll look that up. Okay. As we report as we reported earlier, the Sportsman Heritage and Recreational Enhancement or Share Act. <laughs> uh, like share. I hate acronyms. I really hate <laughs> Yeah, yeah, these 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 things I are hate so that crazy. Thing. The Share Act. <laughs> Sportsman's Heritage and Recreational Enhancement. Whatevs, but um, sponsored by South Carolina's uh, Jeff Duncan, attached to a larger natural resources committee bill. The larger bill included a number of other widely supported hunting and fishing related measures, and it passed the House committee yesterday on a largely party line 22 to 13 vote. So well, everyone's talking about this. What do you guys, what do you think about this? Well, I, I, like, the, I like the share thing, and I also like the part in that share thing about the importation of uh, firearms that are legal here already, that's an important part of it. And the fact that it'll prevent uh, shotguns from that aren't sporting shotguns, I guess, from term being deemed destructive devices, that's important also. So yeah, can so we, you're, can we you're bring saying... back the street sweeper? Say it again? Can we bring back the street sweeper? <laughs> well, that was, yeah, here we go. You got a shotgun that goes <laughs> ka chink, ka chink, ka chink. <laughs> you have. Let, let me correct you. You have the shittiest shotgun ever made. Yeah, it, it goes <laughs> boom, 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 boom. You can have a Model 1100 that shoots faster than you can yeah. blink and have a – but it looked it looked threatening. Oh, dear. It looked threatening. So, so let me understand this. All shotguns are considered destructive devices? They, could, to the ATF? Uh, they could be because they're well, over they half-inch be. diameter bore. Yep. Oh, okay. Okay. It's, it's never been enforced because – Technically, 50 BMG is too, actually, to be yeah. honest with you. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Steve Watson says Roman wall in ancient Britain. I just looked that up. Yeah, I had no yeah. idea. Yeah. What now? The yeah. Hadrian. Hadrian wall. There it is. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. There you go. So we learned you another something. You're, you you are an Anglophile, Walter. You should totally know about this. Man, you, you, you pegged me in something I ain't <laughs> is, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? I, I I do like my British friends. I like going to England. I like to visit. I like Weren't we to... saying this the other day, Babyface? Were we having this conversation about Walter? I... Yes. Yes. And... Walter likes British things. Yeah. Cars. Yeah, least, you know, I I I I've got accustomed to driving backwards. I got. <laughs> I can understand what they're saying if they don't talk too fast. You know. I mean. You know. Yeah. So there you go. Okay. So so what is the deal? Um, because. Because of the diameter, the shotgun could be considered a destructive right. device. So, have they been using that to ban some shotguns? Because you know, well, that's that's what happened to the the, the street sweeper. Okay. It's the yeah. Destructive device. Yeah. Okay. The sweep, and there was another one, wasn't there? That was considered destructive. Um. The uh. Well, the the the, the some of the other ones got caught up in the assault weapons ban stuff, like the franchise. Yeah. The, yes. Um, the spas. Um, the, the spas well, well, isn't. Oh, oh! There's um, God, I'm thinking of that one. There's yeah, a, another cool shotgun. that's a mag. Got a, it's got a drum f feed capability. Okay, and they, that, they turned that into a destructive device too. Um, guys, somebody knows which one that is. Shout it out. So I'm googling it because I can't remember what it is. It's stupid, but it's a really cool one. It had a aluminum um, upper and lower receiver. Mm -hmm. really, really cool. It, well, it was made. Yeah. Striker twelve. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's the striker okay. twelve. Is Strikers uh, a street sweeper. Meredith's mayhem says Walter's a red coat, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he you know he likes the British. You know it's okay. We, we the Great Wall of China. He likes the British when they actually were into guns. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, you know we, we were you talking about that the other night with uh, Kevin Dixie about them that guy that found the guns in the pond mm -hmm. from the lake. You know that were cut up or something over there. Mm -hmm. You know the Brits. I don't know if you read the rest of that story. He he gave that stuff to the police. Automatically, the Brits probably spent I don't know how many thousands of pounds sending their divers into the lake to to see if they can find any more stuff. It's like, what are you wasting your time for, man? This stuff's all yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, it's not it's not usable. It's Walter, not. USAS twelve. That's yeah. the one. That's the, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's get back to this. <laughs> so let's get back to this act. You said there's Walter. You're saying that there's a lot of good stuff stuffed in there that you like. So other than the um, shotgun thing, um, is it going to help with certain things that have been difficult to import? That from from rereading it, it seems like that would open that things that have been 
deemed bad here that are actually legal here and let them reimport the stuff. I, I, what caught my eye was somebody said, for example, Malat and the, um, the stuff that just from Russia that just got turned off, that would all come back. Right. So, so you were it, so you're saying before we if, like, uh, you know, behind the scenes that that's even uh, more important to you than. Well, yeah, I mean, the silencer end of it, right? Silencers are cool, but they're pretty much all the same. What, what are you going to say? <laughs> I mean, if solid, if all, if this went through and we, you know, it makes it easier for us to get our hands on silencers. You're not putting silencers on everything. Cause I know I am. Well, I think, like, like I said before, when they're 35 or $40, yes. Um, I think silencers are going to get an increase in uh, technological advance, which has been kind of lacking because there's, there's no need. And then I think prices will come way down. Yeah, you know, it'll be so. There'll be so much competition. There'll be piles of mid guns. It'll be like AR-15s. Yeah. Well, I think um, I think there's going to be a, uh, certain things going on here. I think um, they'll probably be able to import them also. So now, don't forget oh, yeah. about that avenue too. Yeah. So we're going to get some cheap like Chinese suppressors oh, oh, coming well, in. Is that what you're saying? Glock ones. <laughs> I want to. Yeah, I want to try one of those disposable Glock suppressors. That's yeah. Just like push on. <laughs> well, there's a whole. This is a whole spectrum. So I think I think there'll still be high end suppressors, oh, yeah. the high technology stuff, oh, yeah. the stuff made from all the rare earth and super special yeah. unobtainium yeah. metals. <laughs> there'll be the there will be the Romanian ones, and there'll be the Krebs ones. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know, and then and you uh, love them both equally. And and rifle dynamics and yada yada yada. So <laughs> right. Yeah. So, and we're we're also going to get probably some cheap throwaway stuff. Sure. That you can use and all right with, with the with the printing technology with the metals and plastics. Sure. Yeah. So what do you? Um, I know you said that you know you've got some uh, heavy interest in this baby face because you're a big suppressor guy. You're not like Walter, who so doesn't I, think much of suppressors. Thank you. Very I, much. Um, the reason the reason I, I I think the other stuff is more important is because there's so many cool guns we can't have. You know, there's so many neat things out there that. Um, that you can't have because some president thought that it was it was nasty you know i mean okay so i see what you're saying i mean like we need to get the cool guns then we could put the suppressors on yeah, it yeah you'll have it all i mean you know it, it, but yeah i mean there's yeah. tons and tons. so there's a whole bunch of cool british guns that you'd like to get <laughs> actually i would i would like some <laughs> yeah no me too i mean i mean there's 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 italian guns or swiss guns there's german guns look at look at all that stuff that you can't get that's really cool out there no, that's you, you have a point there. I mean, also all like the a lot Chinese of these rifles. The Chinese are making all kinds of. They, the Chinese bring all kinds of cool stuff in the in the Canada. We can't have any of it. I mean, it's yeah. just it's kind of silly, you know. I don't know. No, it's true. No, it it can be a twofer in this thing. So, uh, so babyface, tell us what you were going to say before you. So I'm going to be a bit of an naysayer and uh -oh. say that um, I'm not 100 percent sure that it'll get past the way it is. I think some things are going to come out of it. Uh, probably so. So, like, uh, one of the things that I think is still currently in it is for the last, what, two years, everybody who's bought a suppressor will get their 200 bucks back per that suppressor. Ain't gonna, that ain't going to stay. And it's never going to happen. No. No, no, any, nobody is going to be like, yeah, let's get some, let's take some money out of the government. It's just not going to happen. No, no. Um, as much as I would love to get let 800 bucks worth of canned money back, it's just not going to happen. No. Um, no that would be the same thing as saying, well, now – no, no, that's not going to happen. Yeah, see, that there's some things like that that I think are going to come out. As a whole, I think there's still an uphill battle for it, but I think there's good progress. I really think this is really good progress. Yeah, I, didn't, it, I didn't think they'd be doing anything right now, to be honest with you. Yeah, and I think um, I think it's it hopefully will lead to maybe machine guns back on the NFA, manufacturing well, machine guns. That might be a little challenging, you know, but... Um, well, no, what you need to do, forget about taking them off the NFA. That's not going to happen. I'm saying manufacturer, allow manufacturer. So you can file a form one and build yeah. your own. Yeah, they need to they need to bring machine guns back to form one. I would love to see that. And then you know, if they if they jack it up to five hundred bucks or something, then so be it. Yeah. I would pay it for a machine gun if I can manufacture it a full auto MP five. Done. Yeah. <laughs> so let's look so hold on a second. Let's stick to the suppressor thing here. I agree with you. I don't think Uncle Sam is giving any money back to anybody, yeah. so forget that, about that's that. A, that's an accounting nightmare too. Oh yeah. yeah. No. Um, and a lot of us out there will be happy just to like um, go buy a suppressor, can, do a background I check. A I mean, store, I can walk into a gun store, buy this, and go home. Do a forty-four seventy-three. Do a background check. Go I home. Can. Right. And yeah. it would, it would uh, relieve a lot of burden, I think, on suppressor manufacturers as well, 
because you know all of the suppressor manufacturers have to run like crazy warranties on their cans because nobody wants to break it. <laughs> um, and if you do break it, they, every every suppressor manufacturer is like, oh, we'll cover it. We'll pay for the cost to cover it. I think a lot of that would go by the wayside. But again, I would rather have a, a not a lifetime warranty and only pay two hundred bucks for a can than pay seven or eight hundred and have them warranty all my baffle strikes. Yeah, definitely more options are needed. Uh, Mark Wagner says, I have an associate who machine suppressors for a large manufacturer slash retailer. Total cost on a higher end 30 cal can is less than 80 bucks. That doesn't surprise me at all. It yeah, completely yeah. does not surprise me at all. And there'll be there'll be some stuff, like I said, the piles of cans at gun shows. The money, I, I still think the money goes, one, because it's a, it's a, a a luxury item they jack the price up and it's regulated but two i think some of the money goes to r and d uh, yeah. i think it's sort of like the drug industry where a lot of the money is not for the machinery itself it's for yeah is that i wonder if that's including the labor and stuff um yeah so walter you you can you probably know about this better than any of the rest of us but i mean some of your profit has to go to r and d for like new new things right yeah, it depends. Yeah, but I mean, suppressors are pretty straightforward. <laughs> it's a tube I with mean, some holes. You can, you can you can just you can draw something up really quick, cut it out, or you can make simple old K baffles, and it's yeah. gonna work. Yeah. I mean, there's all kinds of tricks, and there's people you know that have all kinds of stuff, but but or I'm, you can spend millions of dollars with your equipment and listening to it and watching I'm, watching the shock waves and do all that stuff, and then in the end, the guy that's just making it's gonna make and sell hundreds of thousands of them. So. I'm ready to see the backlash from the left-leaning media of how it's going to destroy the youth of America and every well, they've, already, they've already said that it's going to be you know it's going to be like uh, you're you're making it easy for school shootings. Yeah, exactly. I can't wait for that. I'm and sure I'm going to have to argue with people on Facebook and be like you're Yeah, you're they'll have some little kid over in England like I saw the video of this little kid. Yeah, what was it? What was it that? Um uh, wait, that was what? a kid. There was this there's a video out there of this kid now, who am I getting um, echoes from? That would be Walter, who didn't put on his headsets. <laughs> but how, wait a minute how how does heaven not having a headset will make an echo? Because because um, you see, if you put the headsets on, then you hear me. You've got the speakers on, so I can get the mic picks up the speakers. Yeah, there you go. So. Nope. But, so what was this, what is this British thing? I well, don't know. no, there's this. There's a video out there. Um, you guys can pull it up. Uh, I, let me see. I can figure out where it is here because I think I have it on my uh, Earth to Hank Stranger on my laptop. Stranger. Yeah, we can hear you, Walter. <laughs> I know you can. I can't hear myself, but yeah. I yeah. Can. So if you look on the Truth About Guns, it's called "Grieving." The um, the headline is "Grieving Ten Year Old Calls for U.S. Gun Control and UK TV or Not." That's what, what it says. Why so would, basically, what? there's a young black kid who lost his brother to gun violence here in America, and he went to England to, oh. to get on TV with his mom, and he was talking God about God Almighty. But what? the interesting thing about, so, you know, and obviously, like, this involves Pierce Morgan. Oh, okay, <laughs> so, you, you know, you like Pierce. You're, you're an Anglophile. You're a resident Anglophile, Walter. You know all about Pierce Morgan. Morgan. <laughs> Yeah, he's a fucking asshole. So anyway, the interesting <laughs> <laughs> and I could hear myself. Walter, now you will have to get ten more shirts. No, um, no, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a pass since you're well, wearing. You know, you that's move that, my freedom you know, shirt. They, they 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 always complain about you abusing children and using them and all this stuff. They drug that little kid over there, threw him out in front of the mic just to say they're crap. He don't know what the hell he's talking about. Yeah, well, you know, one of the interesting things, if you watch the video, the kid says in the video that uh, guns don't kill people, people kill people. Well, what the hell is he doing there then? But, you know, um, this is the whole thing about it being unscripted and him being a kid. He probably didn't know what he was saying. I'm sure. Wasn't he, uh, I saw he got he some looks from the adults like, you're not supposed to say that. Yeah. <laughs> wasn't the UK at one point considering removing, like, uh, um, Butcher knives over a certain size because they could be. Oh, the British want to ban all the knives. Yeah. 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 It, it's God, it, like, where does it stop? Yeah, I, it stop? Well, part of the problem over there now is they have these fellows that, that use knives on a regular basis to kill the infidels. Because and, you, if you're going to kill somebody, it, a law is not going to stop you. Hello. Criminal there's a lot, of, there's a lot of things involved here. Um, we have to look in deeper to see what was going on with this. Um, with this kid's brother and who he was and what he was involved in. Was he a gangbanger? Um, was he just? I'm curious. Yeah. Yeah, you know, but and it and it and it's terrible that he lost his brother and all yeah. that kind of stuff. But as he said, 
as he said, out of the mouths of babes, uh, guns don't kill people, people kill people. <laughs> so you can do, you can create a lot of destruction with cars, guns, uh, you know, you can use uh, knives, baseball bats, bricks, you can use your fists, you can use airplanes, you can use all kinds of things in this world to uh, create destruction and havoc. And at the right. same time, you can use those things for lots of good things. All those things that I mentioned could be used for lots of good things. Of course. Including guns, you know. So um, you could use little kids to promote your political agenda, too. Yeah, absolutely. So, <laughs> I, you know, I get that. So, but uh, what I was interested, what I wanted to ask when we got off on a tangent, you know, what's no. new? We're on like a thousand tangents at this point. I'm having a hard time keeping up. That's all right. But, Babyface said that he feels like this is close. So why do you feel this is close, Babyface? Because lots of people think that, you know, this is a red herring and it's not going to happen. Especially so, when you, especially when you look at, you know, the, the Republicans are really not on our side here. So, <laughs> um, uh, so it, what's a, it goes from what this committee? It goes to now the House and then the Senate. Is that how it it works? I, I'm not exactly sure where it moves from here. So I'm not 100 percent sure. How quickly it's going to move did along? It, did it get out of committee? Is that what they're talking about? Well, so if I we look at the article, um, got out of what this was, yeah, mm -hmm. which is a good step because you know something could easily die in committee. Mm -hmm. um, and if we can move it along within the next year, uh, I I think good things can happen. So there has to be a full, own House and Senate right now, right? So there has to be a full. It's, so it came out of the committee. So there has to be a full vote in the House. So that's one hurdle. Yeah, you got to get it these. Has to go to the Senate. You know, that's another thing. It's going to have to get through these limp-wristed um, yeah. Republicans we have there. They're scared of their shadow. Yeah, if you look you at know. the news lately, the, a lot of the Republicans are really, you know, they're, they're not all together here. Some of them are deliberately um, uh, torpedoing a lot of yeah. stuff going on with Trump, you know, because of the way that Trump got into the White House and uh, yeah, all the different he's things he's doing. I mean, Trump is out there right now, uh, you know, making deals with Democrats and stuff like that. So, Well, that's the way you get but, things done. So, I mean, you still need Republicans to get things done. That's the way that you get well, things yeah, done. Yeah, but also. I mean, you know, he's, but, he's, he, he's used to negotiating with people. That's what he does for a living. So, yeah. Well, yeah. and I think Trump is working on the on the dream, the whole dream situation oh, dream, that's going that, on. That, 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 that menagerie, yeah, the dream yeah. act, yeah. Well, you know what? That, that should honestly be worked out, right? Because um, President Obama just that, like, that's signed illegal. an executive order. Unconstitutional. Yeah. Illegal. What we should do is make a law on that, and we should all agree on it. But the whole, well, the whole immigration— There are his law. That's the I, thing that's so far. Yeah, but what I'm— <laughs> no, no. But what I'm saying to you is the whole immigration thing needs to be reformed. You know, I'm an immigrant. So oh, I understand that. And there, there's things that need to be cleaned up, but there's laws yeah. already. And, and what's happening? Well, that's not good. I'm not using that. We're not using that law. It's no good. I'm taking that one. So you're going to no, make absolutely. a new law and it's not going to like somebody else is not going to like it. And we're not going to use that law. So yeah. But if we're going to if we're going to do something about it, we should, you know, there should be a law on it that we all agree to, especially when it comes to something like immigration. And you know, well, if that brings if that brings uh, Democrats to the table and all that kind of stuff, it's all good. You know, you have to get things under control before you start making new laws. To and nothing's in control right now. So yeah. So are we either are we going to like, like just voting? Keep... You know, you go to you know, you know, everybody wants to have everybody wants to vote, but there's so many people that are voting illegally or dead voters and everything else. We need to get that under control the same way. So yeah. So the best thing for us here is stalemate or we, we get people to come to the table and then we get more, you know, positive things out of it. And, and, and we solidify some of this stuff in, if we make things law that we all agree to, right. Then that's a path at least to making stuff better or, you know, we just stick with stalemate. The problem with the stalemate is for this conversation that we're having when it comes to suppressors and other things coming off the NFA, we have to get over the stalemate, right? So there has to be some there reason really, or something that really helps us is, get over that. There, there really is no stalemate. We have enough votes to push everything through. We so, have enough votes to push everything through. You have to persuade those um, uh, Republicans that lean a little to the left that they need to get on board. Do you really think that it's because the Republicans are leaning to the left? Oh, hell yeah. Come on. So, okay. I, I mean, they're scared. They're scared of their shadows. 
they they're so they're so scared that if they if they say oh I'm I'm for the wall that somebody's not going to vote for them. So that's what they, they said not, about. So they're not they're not Republicans. They're not. No, they're not anything. Right. So, would, therefore which have, which, which, so therefore we have a de facto stalemate. The, the, well, well, there's always ways of persuasion, Hank. Come on. Okay. What ways of persuasion do you suggest? <laughs> <laughs> this thing, this thing, this bar, you're not, you know, back in the old days, even the Democrats and the Republicans, they all figured it out in the end because they all figured out who was going to get the money. Yeah, and but if, you know, and if you didn't play my game, you're, you're not going to get the money for the new bridge with your name on it. So they all come to a, this at the end that I want that bridge with my name on it. And they, they figured it out. <laughs> right. But, but what we have right now is something that's a little bit different. Why? We kind of have like a Tea Party guy, even though he came in through the guise. He's of the not Republican. the normal. He's not the normal person. So he's pissed off one side and he's pissed off the other side. Yeah, he beat the he beat the leftists and he beat the Republicans that didn't want to give him any money. Right, and and, and all, they and, and they basically all, they had shots. Right, they had shots of getting like a a sanctified <laughs> sanctified Republican sanctified. in there. And they didn't do it. They didn't get it done. And part of it is what we're talking about, right? There's lots of guys out there that are really not. I, I know there's lots of Republicans I'm not happy with because they're not doing the things that us as gun guys, we would expect that these guys want to do. Now, when they want to get votes and they and they want to get the NRA behind them, they pretend yeah, they they're going to do that. Yeah. yeah. So this so this, you know, I'm trying to bring this back to do we actually think. You know, I know Babyface was saying he thinks this has a good chance. I'm not saying that it doesn't, but it's going to you know. be tough. It's going to be tough with the ones that are scared of the shadow. Yeah, they're going to start crying. They'll be dragging more kids out. They'll be dragging all the mothers. They're getting paid on the backside by some, you know, the Soros bunches. You know, like all the ones that accused Trump of all yeah, this but stuff. What, so yeah, they'll uh, bring them, what would the mothers, what would the mothers have to say? But what would the mothers have to say about suppressors? Because uh, I, I, I'm, not, I'm, not I'm not disagreeing with you, but what would the mothers have to say about suppressors? It right? doesn't because matter what they say. People see it and they go, oh, my God. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, please. I, I'm wondering no. how many gangbangers are out there using suppressors right now. None. None. Well, None. If, they they, are, they, if they are enough, they a bottle full enough, of... People. Yeah, yeah. Hold yeah. on one second. Hold on a second. Let's let Babyface get in there. I was going to say, yeah. if they're using a suppressor, it's not this $700 thing they bought. They're using oh. a bottle full of uh, full of wire or something. Or they're wrapping some paper towels paper and towels. sticking it in that thing and wetting and it. Shooting, shooting through it, yeah. And it works for three shots to kill somebody, and then you run away. <laughs> but, yeah. They don't care what the laws are. That's the thing about no, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. But your average viewer on the tube or watching the internet or doing this all day, Oh my God! Suppressor. That's a mob thing. The, the mafia uses the suppressor. Well, that's that's how to they got it on there in the first place. Oh my dear! Oh God! Yeah. You know, and it's like they don't even know what a suppressor is. You know, yeah. When you, when you really, when you really I put don't it think, to them. Uh, uh, Lola is reminding me that that there's like oil filters and stuff like that out there. Yeah, I don't know yeah, if yeah. I don't know if gangbangers are up on the oil filters. They're not machinists. Thing. That takes that yeah. takes a brain too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're not a machinist to make. You got to have somebody make the thread adapter. For it's you. easier yeah. just to shoot somebody, let the noise go, and just run off. And just run away. Yeah, yeah. They're not going to worry about cans, you know. A, so, but the the average person doesn't know this, and he, you know, they've been they go to see the movies, and who's who's got the suppressor? The bad guy. He's got the suppressor. Yeah, but you know the movies. Okay, so if it's a 22, <laughs> I get. Uh, I I think you can you can get close to the circumstances or the sound level I'll, that they I'll show in movies. Quiet. Yeah. yeah, if you're talking about a 22, but in in a lot of the movies, these guys are shooting 223, 308, and, and all kinds of stuff. Quiet. Yeah, that's when we get to the technology where you can make a 308 that quiet, or a, a 556 well, for that matter. You can make it really quiet. It's just got to be big, massive. It's going to be twice the size of the gun. You it's, know, that, that's, you're always going to get a sonic crack, no matter what. Soak some ramen noodles and get it nice and wet, and I'll throw them in a in a coke can, and I bet it'll be pretty quiet when I fire it. I want to try that. We should do that. Yeah. Did you just come up with that it. now, or have you seen that somewhere? No, I got a whole thing of them sitting here that you know, have been in our room here. We've been eating. Now out. you know you're a manufacturer, so you can actually try this out. Well, is this going to be considered a suppressor part? Probably. <laughs> if if from off. what you're pull saying, off. technically, I'm sure it will be. Oh God. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so I wonder if that'll work on a fifty. Well, if we stack about. <laughs> 
That's a yeah. lot of freaking ramen noodles. I'll I tell you not, that. I better not say this because some other person out there in the world, which we probably know who it is. Next thing you know, one of these other internet um, punks, will, <laughs> internet punks will be doing it, right? Let me just let me just ask the question that all of us are asking right now: Are those ramen noodles your hurricane plan? <laughs> no, they were here before that. They get every once in a while. Spencer ate one during the thing. I didn't have any. I got to be in the mood for ramen noodles. You know, it's like sometimes yeah. it's like. That sounds good. Let's have some ramen noodles, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of times it's like, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you get cravings. You remember the olden, yeah. the olden days when oh. you were broke and ramen noodles was you know? <laughs> like box. Lola. That reminds her of when she was in college. <laughs> a box of macaroni and cheese, you know, something like that, you know. Yeah, but yeah. anyway, I don't know. I don't know what these young kids like babyface do nowadays in college. You know, they think they, it, they, it, it's it's tough for them when they have to go to the uh, Starbucks on campus. I survived off Taco Bell. Did you see what the Starbucks CEO oh, God. said the other day? Oh, God, She's, I can only imagine. It was another one of these really bizarre statements about either about Republicans or Trump people. They don't want them in their stores or something like that. I'm like, doesn't surprise me at all. I don't shop there. I, I no, I'm not going in. I, I could be dying of thirst. I'm not going yeah. into Starbucks. So, yeah, same here. You know, um, and I don't forget that. Look, I freaking camel or elephant or whatever the hell is i don't forget either so yeah there's some uh there's some there's some references in here to suppressors that i'm not going to mention but screaming <laughs> uh skull saloon says twinkie suppressors work the best <laughs> <laughs> and you warm your twinkie up too before you get to eat it that's right <laughs> yeah mind. um but um we so should do some of that <laughs> yeah chris bullis says he still eats ramen yeah mike bryant ramen. says he's broke and still eats uh noodles almost every day ramen and chili i have to try that <laughs> ramen yeah ramen and chili i never i like uh when, I, we, when we make chili in the house here we always have like pasta with it and kind of mix it up now let me it. ask you let chili. me ask you what's the etiquette on this guys um okay is it cool to mix the flavors of the ramen noodles because i do this all the time i will mix like chicken and beef really yeah, yeah. I, I, what I do you get like what do you what do you think it is what what is it I don't know, but I, I I'll, I'll you're, you're, Hey, don't blame me about pushing the subject off in a different direction. You just went off in the. Am I the only off. person who mixes the 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 flavors? I think so. You know, and then I put in like extra spices and stuff like no. that in there. No. Oh, okay. Hey, my my wife always tells a story that when we first met, um, she was uh she was staying in this before she had her apartment. She was staying in this hotel that the company was paying for, and and she was making these things. She put spinach in it. And and I ate it, and um, I don't do spinach. Spinach, but, no, that's a violation. But I did, I did do it then because I was courting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't do it anymore. <laughs> no more spinach and ramen noodles. Yeah. No, no, that's not good. I think, yeah. um, I think there's a, I, I think there's a. If you mix the flavors and you put in extra spices, that's, that's like the Ghostbusters crossing the streams, man. No, no, no. no I think. Streams. Yeah, but they okay, but they had to cross the streams in order to save the day. Yeah. So you know, if you're getting bored of your ramen noodles, mix the have flavors. You, speaking of Ghostbusters, have you seen the parodies on the Ghostbusters that's out on the internet? No. no. Is this like, something new? Like the parody trailers for it? No. <laughs> Where they comment about it through the whole thing? Oh, it's pretty good. You got to see this stuff. I'll have to. Yeah. Black gun it. owners in education says got to add real beef. With only half the packet beef flavored. Yeah, throw some salty. Yeah, I, I try not to use all the salt. It's way too much for me. Yeah, throw some real beef in there. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, are there flavors that you don't like? I don't. Uh, I don't like the shrimp and all those weird yeah. flavors. No. Yeah. yeah, either beef or chicken. Yeah, that's it. Uh, how do you get <laughs> shrimp flavor? Um, I've seen it. I've seen yeah, it. Out no, but I mean, is it like you know? I know how they get. Beef flavor or pork flavor from the yeah, who knows what the, the hell broth, they put in. <laughs> hit the broth of a shrimp. Like I don't think you want to know. <laughs> uh, is that little black vein in the shrimp? Is that where they get the? <laughs> okay, Walter. Thank you very much. Okay, let's get. Can, I mean, can we get back to the suppressor thing? Okay. So, yeah, yeah. um, so you gave you me know, an idea for one. Though. We're gonna have to make one. I got an oh idea. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, I, I'm gonna be a little bit like, um, you know, like Alex Jones. Pessimistic. I'm gonna get a little Alex Jones Pain? here. Conspiratorial. I got a text from sources. I'm not gonna name my sources okay, right now. Go for it. Go for it. But you know, my sources say, say that looking at this bill, that they don't feel it's gonna pass in 2017, but in 2018 it will pass. That's before, how I before before the um. That's what my sources say. Before the uh, congressional elections. 
Yeah. So yeah, um, 2017. And, and my sources actually my 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 uh, my sources on this are actually talking to some of these politicians before the midterms. So that's why. Yeah. These are political sources. That well, I'm that's that's com here. that's completely believable because then they'll be under pressure to do something. Yeah. Um, I think that's what it's going to come down to. Like, I think ultimately these guys are going to have to face the music. The force is strong with the NRA. Well, not ultimately. yeah, not just the NRA. They're going to have to face. I mean, how did they get elected? Right. There's people. This is what it ultimately comes down to. They have to get reelected. You know, um, they're in our districts. We're gun guys. And when you look at these guys and they were up there doing nothing, you know, and, and they didn't give us some of the stuff that we want. You got to you got to think about this. You know, we have be, to it could yeah. be hell to pay. Yeah. Now they might, they might get to see their shadow. <laughs> yeah. Now at the same time, they know that we're not going to vote for Democrats who are going to definitely take guns away from us. But maybe you know, maybe some people who are running against them. You know, this is why I think we should. We definitely need term limits, man. We need term limits. Yeah. You know, like a mofo. <laughs> that is well, the thing I, that will never pass the term. I, yeah, right. They're never going to vote themselves out of a job. No. I mean, look at look at look at look at McCain. The the goofball had a brain tumor and he was acting like a like a weirdo before he got it taken out, and then once they took it out, he went to the dark side. I mean, yeah. he went he went full on Democrat once they pulled out the chip that was in the brain. <laughs> and, and but but so automatically, you know, somebody like that they should retire. They should stop, man. They're all they're doing is hurting their people. It's a or we need some kind of mechanism by which we can. <laughs> You know, we can eject them. <laughs> yeah, we need some kind of mechanism that the people can eject these people out of office. Because basically, we're, I mean, we're we're close to like the Vatican here, man. It's always what's going. It's almost like what's going on with these uh, bishops, archbishops, and the Pope, and all this kind yeah. of nonsense, man. These guys are like princes, you know. Yeah. They're like American princes and princesses, and we can't get rid of their asses. I definitely well, don't believe in royalty. That's one of the things I like about America. We're not supposed to believe in royalty. Unfortunately, lots of Americans worship the royals, especially yeah. those that have super anglophobias going on. I'm, I'm going to have to give you a little bit of anglophobia. <laughs> right up your rick up. Anglo anglophilia, not anglophobia. Yeah, yeah, Anglo yeah. Yeah. Anglophobia is the fear. Of yeah, person. there you go. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Babyface, for that. You know, for keeping us straight. Babyface is the resident. Oh, and he's by the way. The he's not only the resident tech guy, he's the resident psychologist. <laughs> this is hurricane prepping on my thing, so um, <laughs> I, I went through and loaded all my mags and had them ready to go. <laughs> yeah, I, okay. I don't want to give away anything, but normally I don't keep a lot of loaded mags around because yeah. that's a that's a recipe for an accident. So unless they're yeah, I don't I leave them I leave them unloaded unless they're unless they're the unless gun. they're locked up or they're secure. Yep. You never know who's going to walk up and do something. So yep, I, I've seen a shot. I tell you a story about a gun going off. Um, back when I was 16 or 17 or whatever the hell it was, I was over at my friend's house and he had a single barrel shotgun that he kept loaded leaning against the, uh, a wall in his room. And we were laying in, we were in his, in his bedroom watching TV, laying on his bed and was watching the tube. And this friend of ours, little brother walks in, cocks the thing and, and didn't pick it up, just cocks it and pulled down the trigger. Boom! It goes off. Jesus! It, it was birdshot in it, luckily. Well, it didn't make any difference. It goes off. It ricochets off the drywall a little bit and blows a hole in the ceiling. <laughs> like, like, it, we're like, oh, what the hell just happened? And he's like, luckily it didn't blow his head off. Wait, you, know? you can and, see sky? No, just, just oh. the inside of the attic. It didn't go all the way out. So we went into repair mode, actually, and... um. Put some duct tape up there. And <laughs> we actually put Repair duct mode. tape. How old were you? There, there, was, there was some paint that was still out in the garage from when they painted that room, and we we kind of patched it up. And um, nobody was the wiser. <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing someone wasn't um, teaching gun safety to them. No, there wasn't a lot of gun safety there. No, no. So that's yeah. that's my story about leaving guns loaded laying around because yeah. somebody that doesn't know walks up and. You know, yeah, takes it and goes click. <laughs> yeah, we got Michael Smith in the building. Uh, shout out to Michael Smith, uh, Michael, and you and everyone else. Make sure you thumbs up this video and share it. Let me let me give this to you guys. We were talking about weird food combos. I want to um, hit the like button. That's from Ta Tango Hunter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hit the like button. So um, yeah, oh, where was this? Hold on, I just saw this really cool 
food combo that I want to share with you guys. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, hold on. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, here we go. So Tango okay. Hunter says, uh, we were talking about those food combos. Reminds right. him of when he would buy a McDouble at McDonald's right. and then put a McChicken on it. They have they have that now. We, you oh, don't really? typically ask for it, but it's called the McGangbang. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. You had <laughs> me going for a second. Your, no, I'm serious. I'm I'm actually serious. You, you no, can't. you're not serious. There's not no a way. Google it. Yes. No, no, no. You that's like to trick. He's that's don't like do that's like he's <laughs> baby that's face is trying to trick you into hey, like an internet. I'm totally serious. You're gonna get something oh, you're not expecting. McGangbang. Mar Marley will back me up. Totally serious. But gang no, I, no, I don't believe that. Come on, somebody on the chat. Needs to back <laughs> no, I'm not doing it. I'm not falling for that nonsense. It's a McChicken sandwich in a, the middle of a McDouble. <laughs> I'm totally serious. No. No. <laughs> oh, no, black but, gun owners in education says you're telling the truth. Okay, wait see, thank you. I'm so serious. <laughs> like my grandfather used to say, I know believe I, it. I know believe it. You. <laughs> I want to see that. Someone needs to make a T-shirt called Mick Gangbang. Let me see your phone. Here you go. Marley did the Google for you. There's a Mick Gangbang. Oh goodness! Hold on. Let me lock this Lord in. Let see this. <laughs> Cats are chasing dogs. It's a so McChicken inside a McDouble. <laughs> so you can actually go to McDonald's and ask for a McGangbang. Most of the people know how to make it, I think, yeah. <laughs> if I go there and I ask those black girls behind the counter and they hit me. <laughs> They're going to smack you in the face, Walter. <laughs> you will get beat down so fast, Walter. Either, either, <laughs> that, or you will act, either that or you will actually get a McGangbang from them. <laughs> Walter, uh, Walter's Come in the back. You might enjoy that. So here, so here it says, many fast food restaurants have secret <laughs> menu <laughs> items, totally stuff that serious. doesn't appear on the boards but can be ordered as long as you know what you're asking for. And then there's the McDonald's McGangbang. It's a combo of a McChicken and a double cheeseburger. Yeah. It's a you know what? You know what? Now we need to go to McDonald's and, film us and videotape me. this. Okay, okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go to McDonald's. You're gonna. I'll film you asking, and then you film me asking. Yeah. See what the, we'll get the black guy and the white guy. We'll see what response we yeah, get. Yeah. The McGangbang <laughs> challenge is on. The McGangbang <laughs> challenge is hey, on. I wonder if I wonder yeah. if I can put that in the kiosk and it'll come up. <laughs> can I have the McGangbang, please? <laughs> yeah, that's that's very interesting. There's okay. a certain button combination you can press. To yeah. Wow. Bang. Secret <laughs> secret button combination. Now, so have you actually ordered this before, Babyface? I never have. No, no, I've never actually ordered it. You never ordered it okay so what about marley has she ordered it have you ever ordered one nope she never has oh, oh okay <laughs> um so I'm, I'm sure there's someone out there that has but now we're all curious and we're gonna have to find out yeah oh, no. so so that, if you order it tell us <laughs> yeah that's the homework for tonight everyone there's go your, out there there's your uh there's your title for the for the show <laughs> yeah if you have uh, uh, now i'm assuming all these people listening to this have smartphones go with your smartphones to <laughs> mcdonald's and order a mcgangbang and we will get and and then put up a video. There you go. Put up a video on social media, like Facebook or something yeah, like that, yeah, and tag yeah. us so we can see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. we'll we'll send you like a special gift bag. We'll get Lola. You might have to do a Patreon account to get bailed out. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone gets into any, uh, if anyone gets beaten up or anything like that, we'll <laughs> we'll help you out. <laughs> Not. <laughs> <laughs> After we talk about you in the news section. <laughs> No, but that's interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I never, I never knew that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I and I'm wondering because you know, I mean, yeah, that, that's gonna be interesting. I'm not gonna say anything more. Uh, we have yeah, to go yeah. actually try this, Walter. You also have to do this. I will ask about it. I will. Yeah, I, I want will, cameras rolling at my local Mickey D's. I will yes, ask. I about want this. cameras rolling, and you go up there and you go. I'm asking. I would like a McGangbang. I got a. There's there's one manager girl that works there that. I'm just friends with because we to see each other and stuff. And the McDonald's, I have to wait to. And we kind of, tell me, is there a McDonald's? Is there a McGangbang? She's gonna be like, <laughs> yes, there is, and people ask for it. <laughs> yeah, um, Lawrence Lerwick says had one in California. It was good. There you go. Well, you know, <laughs> yeah. I do like their chicken artisan sandwiches they're doing now. They're not bad. Yeah, yeah that, I do that like that. Chicken. Yeah. Good. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, Crispy says, I love how we get so off track here. <laughs> what fun. <laughs> it's so easy. Like, we are we are such a bad combination. I, I, I told you I didn't want to talk about suppressors for two we're hours. Like little, we're like I little. I kill we're myself. Like, 
I'd kill myself if I had to talk about suppressors for two hours. <laughs> we're like uh, we're like little kittens or something like that, you know. Like Can't you hurt roll us. a ball of string this way. I'm like, ooh, let's go. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about this. That's funny. So, um, so who's got, uh, go ahead. Go. Any um any former submariners listening tonight? Submariners, okay. Submariners, That's submarine submarine people. Right. Um, ever fly the Jolly Rogers? What oh does? yeah. I need the when link. Come, when they fly the Jolly Rogers, which is a British thing, actually, that signifies a oh, successful. Oh, I am su so shocked that is a British thing. Oh, it actually is. Wow, I mean, it's, uh, that signifies a successful mission. Uh -huh. So, so they went out. This this um Sea Wolf submarine came back flying the Jolly Rogers, and um so that means they they had a they had a good day someplace. Hopefully, they sank some Jimmy. <coughs> on so so we don't know exactly what that means. It's just speculative. No, that well, they just. And who six. was this flying the thing? I'm sorry, I was just uh, an American Sea Wolf. Uh, one of the American Sea Wolf submarines came back. In USS the port. Jimmy Carter. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the Jimmy Carter. Okay. Um. Hmm. The most secretive sub in the U.S. Navy. Well, the the, the Sea Wolf class. There's only three Sea Wolves they made. Mm -hmm. I used to so work whenever for they do something really uh, successful. Yeah. Here's a, uh, a Twitter post. That says uh, USS Jimmy Carter, one of the most secretive subs in the U.S. Navy, returns to home port flying the Jolly Roger flag, indicating operation operation action. Yeah, so that's that's, really, that's, that's, that's that, really ironic that it's the Jimmy Carter. You know, he you know the, the ironic thing about Jimmy Carter, he used to be a submarine captain. Was he really? Oh, really? That's cool. When he was in the Navy, that leftist was in charge of nuclear weapons. Ah, uh ah. -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, you yeah. figure that one out. It's a good thing the world didn't end because those yeah. submarine guys, those are the dudes who will repopulate the world. Those are the final. I don't know. Vessel. You know, I mean, you know, the, I don't know how many women are down there in the subs with them, but None. you know, well, that, they do have some now, I guess. <laughs> if yeah. We, yeah, you know, if we have a if we have a nuclear war or something like that, and we wipe ourselves uh, out. Those guys will still be here. They're the they're the they're the final uh, guys that pull the trigger. So, um, Damn, I wonder what they did. <laughs> but yeah, well. That Michael Smith says Jimmy Carter is a nuclear engineer. Yeah, he was. Yeah, and he was in the yeah. Navy on a submarine as a sub, sub commander, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. believe it or not, unbelievable yeah. to me. But yeah. um, Tango Hunter says, like all the distractions of what we get into is how we last three hours. No Viagra needed That's here. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's all natural, baby. It's <sighs> all natural. <laughs> Strong like bull. <laughs> Strong like bull. Strong like bull. Um, Okay, what other new stuff? You were telling us something that was on uh, Fox News, of course. Oh, um, you, I don't know why you watch Fox News and go to Hooters. I don't know if those two things have any kind of watch what any kind of link. <laughs> oh, hey, you you know, you, wait, Babyface, you don't know that Walter Walter has like Walter actually has a frequent flyer card from Hooters. <laughs> no, yes, he does. Do you really? Yeah. How often Not do you really. go to Hooters? Every weekend. Okay, uh, here's the important question: bone in or boneless? Um, I do both. It depends on the, depends on the mood, you know. Yeah. What, what kind of flavor do you? What? How hot? I've, I've, or do you do like? Barbecue? I'm not a hot. I don't like it real hot. No. Okay. No. no. I've, I've, recently, I've recently discovered the dry rub stuff. I like a dry rub. I've never tried so, dry rub. I'll, I'll tell you this: I I went. Lola and I went once to a Hooters with Walter, and the, the whole family goes. The whole family goes to Hooters. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not all. Everyone in Hooters knows the Kellers. I'll just tell you that right now. <laughs> Amazing. Um, at the door, they were getting hugs and kisses and all kinds oh, of stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. And everyone knew them. Yeah. So they are frequent flyers up in the Hooters. <laughs> Shout out to the Hooters. We should do. Uh, we should. I don't know if they, I don't think they would let us video in Hooters. But Walter. But Walter can ask. He's the one that can get permission. We should do a hangout from Hooters. Oh, so that, here's that, here's the Wi-Fi one. there. So yeah. Uh, as of what an hour and a half ago, North Korea launched another missile test. Another one, huh? Yeah, they're gonna keep doing that. That that's. Uh, I mean, what are we? Uh, he's gonna what do. We do. Yeah. What do we do? Sanctions, We're not sanctions. doing anything. Sanctions are ridiculous. They don't do anything, and China yeah. and Russia don't want to cut off their oil pipeline. What else do we do other than well, other than do this shit out of? Um, I don't think I don't think at this point we're doing anything about North Korea, and North Korea knows that. Um, yeah, no, they, you know that's just the way that it's going down. You know, like I said, the Winter Games are coming up there in a couple of months. They're not going in the Winter in, in, Games. Uh, oh, in, in South, in South Korea, Korea. Yeah, yeah. The Winter Games <laughs> are going to be Winter Games. No food. No, it's going to be in Pyeongchang <laughs> in a couple of months. So Pyongyang. I don't think I don't think anything's going down over there, man. And they know it. I'm telling you, they know that no one's going to do anything about it. 
Well, you never know what'll happen. All it takes is one of those missiles to fall short. And World War Three starts. Or, or a piece of that missile falls on Japan and they will they will they will turn North Korea into a parking lot. Who? Honestly, Japan? Though, I don't think us. so. Yeah, we will. <laughs> us. Oh, and us. the Japanese. I don't think so. I still don't I, think I so. I believe so, 100 percent Yeah, so, I don't I don't are, think we have the I don't if, think we have the cojones. No, if there are uh, casualties, civilian casualties, I think some shit would happen. I'm not saying you don't have the cojones, Walter. Or, no, I know, no, but I can't saying, I can't be president. You guys can't. I, I don't <clears> wanna <throat> I don't wanna put those poor South Korean people under that stuff either, because it'll they'll be there will be missiles launched and artillery fired and all that stuff. It won't be pleasant, but yeah, but you know, and I don't think we necessarily have to go to that extent to deal with those guys, man. You know, we, we have do. the we have what the wherewithal do? to cripple the crap out of them. <laughs> they're already yeah. crippled, though. They're, they're already cr yeah, you're already you talking about a shithole, anyways. It's a shithole that their people are starving. Yeah, they yeah. have no infrastructure. They, they got they got out. money. They got money. Like Walter was saying, Walter was complaining uh, yesterday, I think, that people have money to buy iPhone X's. Right. Right, right, yeah, right. <laughs> you know, so uh, North Korea has money to 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 have nukes. Well, man. they trade they trade in weapons, they trade in um you know other things too. They have technology. Yeah, the people in North Korea are suffering, but the idiots that are that are the leaders of the country, the people who are doing all this crap, they're not suffering. No, not at all. No, 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 no. Yeah, they're not suffering. So that's the problem. But you can make those dudes suffer. You know, well, it's going to be, a, you know what? It might take a couple spec ops mm, ship sinkings. To yeah, man, we've got, we've got, you know, we were just talking about the nuclear, the, the subs and things like that. There's things that could be done. You know, we've got aircraft and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. You know, we've got bunker busters and all kind. you know, well, mother of I mean, all bombs you, 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 and all you that. You start, you start full on stuff. There's no. Have we talked, have we talked before about the Pyongyang underground city? <laughs> the underground. No. Uh, they, so so uh, South Korea has noticed before that uh, I don't know what has happened if it was like a war threat or something, but the entire city of Pyongyang can go underground. Literally, they think that there's like a city under the city where they have like bomb shelters for people. Um, they can hide like 10,000, 15,000 people or something like that under the city. Yeah. But, I don't know. Uh, and and uh, we crazy. have evidence and proof of this because there's a lot of things that North Korea says that they maybe have that they don't. Maybe, have. maybe the upper ups, but not all, not everybody. This yeah. isn't a uh, this isn't a North Korea said thing. This is South Korea saying that they've noticed this happen. Mm, okay. Yeah. Uh, we could still get in there. Oh no! I have no no issue. Yeah. I think yeah, we totally could. <laughs> you know, unfortunately, it's going to take a consensus of nations and all that kind of stuff, and it's just not happening, man. No. Yeah. You know, maybe Russia, we we Russia get rid of the UN first. Right now, well, <laughs> what do you think we what do you think we can make happen? Do you think we can get suppressors off the NFA or get rid of the UN? Which one will come? <laughs> God, <laughs> the UN's not going anywhere. <laughs> we will have, we will get suppressors off the NFA before we get rid of the UN. Eastern groups in charge of the humanitarian group of the UN. The UN's not going anywhere. Yeah, the yeah. UN is a waste of money. Yeah. So here, let me um, pull up a couple of news things. I have one thing that I had here on my laptop that I thought was real funny. I oh, wait a minute. I, I had some new stuff, too. Let's go back to get to good stuff. Okay, go ahead. You wanna, do you want to do oh, your Do you story? see where Anthony Bourdain, you know who Anthony Bourdain is, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. He Probably. said he would poison Trump. What? Yeah, he publicly said he would poison Trump. All right, uh, that's that's the so first. So did the Secret Service visit him? He go give him a visit, yeah. Well, I don't know, you know. um. I won't be watching Anthony Bourdain anymore. I can tell you that. Um, second thing I see is um, here on Fox News is some of those good tear down the uh, the uh, Confederate statue people in North Carolina mm -hmm. went into a, went into a bar and they didn't have proper ID and they wouldn't serve them. So <laughs> they got all pissed off saying that they were a. Uh, it was racial. It was racial. No, or something. You don't have an ID and they're checking IDs. You don't get a drink. You don't get a fucking drink. No. <laughs> well, uh, you don't get a drink. You so see, uh, you see the the school in Tampa burned down. Yeah, it just happened oh, really? to catch fire. Robert E. Lee. Yeah, just happened yeah. to catch fire. Yeah, just happened to catch fire. Yeah, oh, yeah Robert E. Lee Middle School or something burned down. Yeah, it's just happened to catch fire. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know there was a, a school in Tampa with that. Name. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah, it's no big deal. Yeah, it's been there forever. Yeah, and it's that's what people are complaining. It's it's uh, 
historic not, building in Tampa. Yeah, it's just an old, old school. You know, it's not yeah. Yeah. nothing, nothing um, bad. Owl82 wants to know if I still have the LWRC uh, C308, the Reaper. Have it. Yeah, still right. love it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, we there need to go. go. Is that what long? How long is the barrel on your Reaper? Um, <laughs> Are we going to compare a thirty-five hundred dollar gun to a? <laughs> Walters, gun? Why Walters not? All the way down to do that. I can't remember how long the barrel. Why is. not? Right? Yeah. We should. See might, I think it's it might be eighteen or something. I can't remember. Okay, this, thing, this gun I think I got coming has a sixteen, but it's got a longer handguard, so it looks. Just get oh, a, okay. Let's yeah. just shoot some M80 ball and see how they perform. Yeah. Right. Same target. Yeah. Same distance. Yeah. Boom! 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 We boom, can do boom, it. Boom! Boom! And just see it how it can be done. Yeah, I mean, I'm not scared of being. No, so, I think it's a no. I'm not even kidding. I think it's a good thing to do. Yeah, There's nothing yeah, wrong I mean, with that. I mean, I'll give I'll give it a fair shake. You know, yeah, we um, can have the discussion on this. We clean them the same. You clean them to start. They're clean to start, and you shoot till they. And uh, Tango Hunter wants to know. And we can lock them up officially if we stop. We can come back to them later. Put a seal on them and stuff. Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> now now we're getting complicated. <laughs> well. <laughs> uh, uh, Tango Hunter wants to know if I still have the Caltech RFB. Uh, I have the RFB Hunter, and uh, Babyface has my uh, what what used to be. I still consider it mine. But Babyface, my, my eighteen inch green RFB. Yeah, oh, the broken had, one. Yeah, <laughs> actually, so yeah, news there. I actually got a call today from Caltech. Okay. Uh, it's on my, it's on the way back to to me. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. Turn it around, and I paid for shipping, and they're shipping it back. So nice, because they, they, they know it was Hanks. That's why. I don't know. What are you I saying? Because you say they because they didn't know it was mine. No, they said they know because it is. Oh yeah, that's right. No, I I still have some friends at uh, Caltech. Just a couple. So, yeah, you know, I got, <laughs> I got some people. <laughs> I got some people that are on my side over there. Some deep good dudes. Cover, deep cover. But you know what? Uh, listen, Caltech does that kind of stuff, though. I mean, I, I you know I, I can't knock them on that. Cool. I mean, yep. cool. they're always looking out for people that um, even when. You know that even when people do stuff like whatever Babyface did to that oh, guy, gun up, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, you did it before, and you sold it to Babyface. That's what you did. No, I didn't do anything. What are you talking about? That gun was perfect running <laughs> condition. We've got videos with him shooting that gun, so there was nothing oh, wrong with it. Okay, this okay. is Babyface that did this, Boy, and God. the biggest crime in the whole thing is guess what? I didn't guess buy it. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. The biggest crime in there is that he didn't record any of this. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, that would have been. My shocked you know. face when I'm like, did that, did that just happen? <laughs> okay, now everyone is asking me if I still have guns. So Lawrence Lerwick wants to know if I still have the pop up shotgun. I'm not sure which one he's talking about. If you're talking about the KSG, yes, I still have it. If you're talking about um, we made a bulb up unlimited one, no, I sold that. So um, someone wants to know about the EOTech settlement. Yeah, what happened with I don't that? Know. Oh, yeah. What's I, don't know. I have an EOTech, but I don't know if I'm going to get a settlement. Is there a new settlement? No, this is the old one, I think. Yeah, that's that might be from the old thing. Because yeah. I knew I sent back the EOTechs I had. and uh, just, Did they just refund you? Yes. Yes. And then I used that and did something, I think, about some kind of gun or something. Yeah. Um, um, and... Al Chervik wants to know, uh, NRA is backing Luther Strange over Judge Moore for Alabama Senate race, but Moore is for national reciprocity. What do you guys think? Um, national reciprocity is cool. I'm all for that. I don't know these people other than guys named Luther Strange. I know. Uh, <laughs> you is, know. He a bro is he a brother? No, he's a white guy. I just looked. No. Um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of, they're actually people named Strange, and they're always asking me if I'm related to them. And I'm friends with a bunch of them on Facebook. <laughs> I'm, I'd say I'm related to all y'all. That's yeah. <laughs> well, we're all related. We're all related somehow on this planet. We're all related. We are. Yes, we are. Technically, technically. Eventually. <laughs> That's a scary thought, but yes, we are. Yeah. You know, if you if you go if you dig deep enough, if well, you dig that, deep yeah. enough, we are all related. Yeah, some of us are. Yeah, some of us are more than others. So yeah, I don't really know a lot about Alabama and that whole thing going on yeah. there. But yeah, reciprocity is freaking awesome. Yeah, that's that's isn't a, um isn't what's his name standing in the way of reciprocity um uh what is the name of this guy the the house leader oh oh I know you're talking about yeah oh I can't believe that's going out of my brain that oh. asshole he's another one that's oh god you know what I wish everybody <laughs> I wish all every you know all the politicians need to be all super wealthy 
Oh, Ryan. Is it, I think Paul yeah, Ryan yeah, is Paul blocking Ryan, yeah. reciprocity, yeah. right? They're all so scared. None, none of these guys have enough money to get themselves reelected. So they're, mm -hmm. they're, they're constantly being dangled by the, the money. And that's what pissed them all off about Trump. He basically said, fuck you and your money. You know, he <laughs> did it himself. And they did, they couldn't, they couldn't handle him like a, like a puppet. And yeah. So here's an article from, uh, what is this? This is conservative daily. We've confirmed Paul Ryan is blocking the concealed carry reciprocity act. What, you know, what, um, what's the, what's the point of that though? I don't understand that either. Why, why? Yeah. I mean, does he have financial interest in it somehow? Or do you think that people are going to vote against him because he passes it? I, I don't know. It's a state's right things too. States yeah, he's right. saying he just doesn't think it's the time, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, this comes back to what you said, uh, you know, that there's lots of things that they can do um, because they have the ability to do it. It's just that they don't have the desire to do it. They don't have the And I can tell you something right now, man. If things had flipped the other way, like I know right now Hillary's out there, you know, complaining and everybody, everyone except her is at fault because she didn't become president. Have you seen but, her excuse book that's now out? Yeah, you know, it's everyone's yeah. fault. The flop yeah. that the, the has nothing book to is. do with her, but you know, if Hillary would have become president and Democrats would have had a, a, a super majority, they would have gone for everything, dude. We would have our doors everything. kicked down right now, they'd be taking back guns. Well, if that's the case, you then you have civil war, so um, yeah, they'd be chopping off penises, all that stuff. Oh, I mean, chop, wow, they all what? threaten yeah. well, who are the ones that threaten those college students, threaten to kick their cut their stuff off if um, if the wall gets built or something like that? What was that? I hope you build the wall. That's great. Yeah. yeah, go for it, man. We need less amount like that other gene pool. Yeah. Um, um, so, yeah, there's no good reason why they would be blocking reciprocity, and yeah, I think I it's know. nonsense. Well, it's, like I said, it's a state's rights thing, too, actually. <laughs> you take, you're, you're, you're stomping on state's rights. So, but I, I don't okay. know. One, one side says that, and the other side of me says, you know, who cares? So, <laughs> well, it's, it's kind of like having a, it's, you have a license plate in your car, right? You can mm -hmm. that license plate is good in all fifty states and U.S. territories. Yeah. So why can't you have? Uh, aren't a we nationalizing? Aren't we nationalizing uh, driver's licenses and all that? Well, they fought that. I mean, too. I mean, your driver's license is valid in every state. All, yeah. All, yeah, yeah, yeah. But so. I know that there's actual things going on where they're bringing them all under one system and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, in certain states haven't conformed the TSA requirements. For um, that, Louisiana is one of those actually. Yeah, Mike Bryant says there's a driver's license stomp on states' rights. I mean, well, they they it's not a gun. <laughs> it's not a firearm. <laughs> you're you're not you're yeah. not going. That doesn't play into the to the whole. You know, we need to have those. Yeah, it's not a gun. Yeah, um, Mr. Holster says, "Wow, chopping of a penis." I thought that was the higher education area. <laughs> you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, they will be doing a lot of stuff to us right now if uh, oh, yeah. if Hillary was president and we would just have to deal with it. When you so, type in a word like that, does it put your thing on hold or did you do that? Um, yes, it does. Oh, yeah. okay. So you if you know, type so, in... And I just approved it. Like, okay, you know, okay. I can approve it or Lola can approve it, all the stuff. I think I can too, actually. Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 So, you don't have to say something really bad to me. For you. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I mean, we're, I'm, I'm pretty sure at this point... We are totally, we're totally blocked. <laughs> so we're past that, but uh, I mean, we're automatically blocked with a bunch of stuff anyway. Here's something I wanted to read. This is from the New York Post. Okay. Bonehead cop suspended after gun police gear stolen from car. Okay, okay, what, oh, what, hap what happened? So an, in, an NYPD internals affair cop was suspended for leaving nearly everything she needs for her job in her parked car, which a thief cleaned out on a Brooklyn street. Police sources told the Post on Wednesday. Her service okay. weapon, gone. Ammo, gone. Her police-issued phone and radio, gone. Her vest, handcuffs, and duty belt, gone. Uh, nice. Milagros Torres, 38, had to sheepishly walk into the 88th Precinct station house and admit that she left the trove of items in the trunk of her 2016 Honda Civic, sources said. So if you go on, this this is this, this, this so, article is fun. Was it locked up? Was it? I mean, what do you... It was in the trunk of the car, but she's put on Facebook before. Oh. Like she's done Wonder Woman uh, memes where she's I like, know. "I wonder where I left my keys. I wonder where I put my purse. I, I wonder where." She's, I left she's my always, keys. always, she's always like, yeah. So she probably left the car open or something like that, and know. you know, fire her, um, get rid of her, goodbye. Um, well, they have policies on all this stuff. If you go through and read the this article, 
Bye so that's bye. why she got suspended, and I think you lose vacation days and a bunch. Of, here's the really, here's the really thing, the thing about this in New York, because like we talk about how uh, police officers aren't paid paid enough. They don't have, you know, like um, they don't get paid well enough. They don't get proper training and all that. So here it says during fiscal 2017, she earned a hundred and fifteen thousand three hundred and twenty three dollars, of which around thirty thousand dollars was overtime record show. So, but living in New, if she so lives in, in New, if she no, if you live in New yeah, York City, that's not much money. Crazy. Oh uh, yeah, sure. I mean, you know, uh, yeah. I mean, I'm not saying it's cool, but I'm just saying if you live yeah. in New York City, a hundred grand is not a lot, a lot of money. So, yeah, um, I can just tell you as a guy who lived in New York City that when I lived in New York City, if you think a hundred grand is not a lot of money in New York City, it is a lot of money. I'm not where saying you, things aren't more expensive in New York City. Where do you City. live? And that's all. Do you live in the city? Do you live in a borough way out on the edges? Do you live in an apartment with five other people? Where do you live? I yeah, I, I get what you're saying, but a hundred, a hundred thousand dollars, um, you know, um, it's still a lot of you. money in New York City. There's not a lot of people in New York City that make a hundred thousand dollars. Although there are people in New York City that that you know make good livings and all that kind of stuff. I'm not knocking it. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's, that uh, thirty thousand dollars, thirty thousand dollars worth of overtime and stuff like that's not, you know, is that before taxes or after taxes? Yeah. Listen, I, I accept the fact that it's expensive to live in New York City, but when I was living in New York City and working there, I made about thirty thousand dollars. Oh, that seems like nothing. Yeah, and that's back in like I think I moved out of New York City in like ninety nine or something like that. So, you know, yeah. but that was from one job. I had I had several jobs. Yeah, yeah, you know, and uh, she she probably is the same thing. I mean, she probably has a couple of different jobs. So, well, anyway, of police how, officers there do. How much is that going to cost the city? And uh, where's that gun going to end up? Of murder is committed with that gun. Yeah. yeah so, Mister Holmes says gonna... New York is expensive, and lots of departments control private security jobs, and overtime is paid to officers working those details. That's true. Um, yeah. And uh, Lawrence Lerwick says we had two cops' cars broken into here in Lake City. Where two AR 15s, three vests, and ammo were stolen out of squad cars. Yeah. That's a little different, though, because it's it's not your personal vehicle. It's right. It's not. The, yeah. Yeah. Leaving I mean, your equipment in, a, in your personal vehicle. Uh, it can happen anywhere. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. Uh, I try not to leave anything important in my car ever. Well, yeah. So, yeah you know, happens. yes, absolutely. Yeah. Things like that can happen, I think, you know, for sure. Yeah. It can happen to anybody. Yeah. You know, I mean, so. You know, but you got to be a little more responsible when you have. That kind of position, my opinion. Yeah. yeah. Especially if it's your own personal ride. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if she made it easy for them to steal, if like the guy just, because they, I think if you read this article, it says there was no sign of a break in, like where someone jimmied the lock. Or oh, maybe she did something like that. Yeah. yeah. So if you make it easy, then you make it easy. Now, can you have like a lock box or something is secured in the trunk where sure, you, you can, can have keep all your stuff lock. locked up? That's what I have. You know, there's things like that that you can do, but you know, I, yeah. Ultimately, oh, hey. these kinds of things can happen. So speaking of, speaking of cop cars, let's do a little shameless self promotion here. Oh boy! If anybody in the Bay Area here is looking for some um, police car stuff, like I have the partitions that go between the uh, front and rear, I have some of those actually boxes that go in like a Crown Vic or in the Vic uh, in the trunk that has Kevlar on the back side of it. I got some of that stuff if you're looking for it. Cameras and DVD, DVD player recorder things for the cops' cars. Just putting it out there. That's all. <laughs> Walter has a bunch of really random stuff. I bought it. I bought the stuff in an auction from a local mis municipality. So I have some of that stuff for sale. So if you want to rig your Crown Vic up back and back, bring it back to all its glory. I yeah, <laughs> Mr. Nick wants to know Walter if you have if the new patches are in your new orders. So I'm not sure. I don't know if he's he, if he wants to know if oh, there, like when people buy stuff if the new patches are going out. Oh uh, well, typically when the, when you order something, you don't get a patch normally. Well, I don't know. I have to ask my wife see what she's doing. I don't know what she packs the stuff up. So, uh, but I have two new patches that are coming. Um, I'm not going to say what they like like until it. Well, one is the Safety Harbor Firearms patch, the the green one we did before, mm -hmm. except in a tan and a green motif. And these are going to be PVC, so it'll it'll pop a little bit more. And then, oh, okay. I, and then I have one um, that concerns the Flotus. Yeah, these are all on order, right? Yeah, they're coming. Yeah, they're they're in the works. Yep. Okay. 
Yep. The Flotus, the Flotus patch is um I think you'll like it. That'd be cool. It's not it's not obnoxious or anything like that. It's just cool. So I have much respect for the Prez. I'm not gonna mess with them. So so now here's something interesting that I just came onto my radar on the firearm blog. Um, looking to make your Glock full auto? Question mark. Oh, somebody. Amazon, <laughs> Amazon has an illegal full auto conversion. Do not buy. <laughs> what? It's no. on Amazon. It looks like a seller on Amazon is selling something that appears to be an illegal full auto conversion seer He's currently. I guess if you want to make your Glock full auto and didn't know any better, it might be kind of hard to resist adding the $68 part to your cart and clicking I, that checkout button. Trap! <laughs> I guarantee you he's not, or it's not being sold. Well, that could also be a trap. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it could be. Yes, it could be. Yeah. yeah, that could be a trap that Most is likely. Is what that, it. Yeah, that is illegal. It says, please don't buy this thing. Um, yeah, if this part the, fits uh, a Glock don't... slide like I suspect it does, it is highly illegal. Oh, you'll hear this. Yeah. Please open up. <laughs> don't be that dude. You know, don't be that dude to buy this thing. But yeah, it looks. I don't know if it's still on Amazon. They didn't put a link. Let's search Amazon and see if it's still there. Mr. Dude, this is ATF. Open up, Mr. Dude. <laughs> Look, let's see if we could search Amazon and this thing is still there, or if someone's like it's a, it's a it. seer trip, right? I mean, it's not an actual. It's just an add-on piece. So owning that separately would that be like o yes. me owning? Yeah, yeah. You can't. You can't buy that. Well, no. Is that like me owning an M16 full auto? Kit? Oh, it's there. I don't if have a go, third pin. If you go, if anyone goes to, no, if, if you're technically to possess it without having the Glock, if you don't own a Glock, it, it's not. It's not a problem. But if I you have the two of them. Yeah, that's it's constructive intent. Yeah. Right, right. right. And what if this is for like airsoft or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I hope that airsoft works a little differently than an actual. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're funny. Yeah, you're funny. Yeah. Um, if you, if anyone is listening to this, or you guys want to go look it up, but you know, don't be tempted. Um, this is so. This no, it says airsoft, airsoft pistol airsoft accessory. Pistol accessory, full auto switch for Glock. Yeah, when I search it, that's what it says. Airsoft. Yeah, pistol. this has to be well, a different. Well, maybe it is for an airsoft gun. You know, I don't know. I don't. It looks like the same thing that they're showing, and it says airsoft pistol accessory. Yeah, well, it's not the same. I guarantee you, airsoft parts are not the same as a. Uh... You want me well, to send you? Ever... you yeah, want me to say, send you a link? Here, I'll send you a I link. Saw, I it. saw. I saw the the article about it. No, but it... I'm going to send you a link to what I found on Amazon. Yeah, did, and you can does look this at look that. like a full auto seer? I've never actually seen. Yeah, I'll put the link in the in the chat for anyone that wants to look at it. If you're listening to this or you're. Or whatever, um, you can go look it up on uh, buy Amazon. He's not telling you to buy it. Do not yeah. go. Buy it. Yeah, we're not advising <laughs> you get anywhere. Near. Just look. Do not touch. Do not accidentally click anything. <laughs> and then when you're done, um, well, you know, like the guy said in the um, in uh, Suicide Squad, you know, go clear my history. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks very similar to an actual sear. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I. I I can't say. Um, yeah, well, maybe the, that, that, I don't know. Maybe I don't this know is not here. the same thing that they showed, but it looks like the same thing, except the title here says Airsoft. Yeah. When, you know, if you look that, at what um, is in the um, in this article on TFB. No, in the article it says Airsoft. I'm looking at it again. It says Airsoft right there. Yeah, the I don't think. Yeah, I don't, now, I, I don't know if that's similar or not to an actual scene. Amazon would Amazon doesn't sell well, they do sell some gun parts. Yes, they do, actually. Yeah, you can get them. Oh yeah. You know who wrote this? Oh. Patrick R. Oh dear. Patrick R, our buddy. Patrick R wrote this. You gotta text him and be like, I, hey. I have <laughs> a feeling that we're getting like uh getting pranked. we're somehow getting clickbaited. You're getting poked up the ricker? Yeah. Um, Patrick <laughs> R Patrick R probably posted that. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, you know, who knows? Who knows what it is? But we're not gonna find out because we're not getting it. Nope. 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 Um, I guess you could order it, right, Walter? Well, yeah, I'm O two. I mean, a uh, class two. Yeah. I mean, I can possess yeah. all that stuff. Um, it's so it's Walter. Not... I think you got an experiment. <laughs> yeah, Michael Smith says it looks very similar to the mod that is an actual full auto sear. Yeah. I... 
I don't know. Yeah, Chris Bullis says it is like the ones that show you how to convert your airsoft M4 into a real gun, <laughs> which doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Kyle L says he bought the uh, Shockwave blade on Amazon. There are some things that they sell on yeah, there. Yeah, so. you, you can buy parts. Yeah, you can buy parts. Um, yeah. Um, so then, Link Hyrule okay. Three says at least for my Beretta PX4 and uh, WE Soft PX4, the trigger mechanisms are nearly identical, slightly off, and more plastic in the airsoft version, but pretty much the same design. Yeah. Hmm. Jay it's Hike, it's only illegal if you get caught. I hear yeah. I, I, and, I hear I hear that a lot. <laughs> uh Greg ninety eight K says real the, the the reviews. <laughs> Hold on, now we gotta go read the yeah, reviews. Yeah, now I gotta read the reviews. Wait a <laughs> second. And that, you see we're getting clickbaited into this. Yeah we are <laughs> I I'm telling you Nine um, so I ordered up a couple of these funny there was a 14 year old girl named Tiffany that delivered it honest she was pretty smoking hot <laughs> what the hell is this yeah these reviews are funny um i had this neighbor with dogs that constantly barked all night no matter how many times i called the cops <laughs> he wouldn't do anything finally at my wits end i ordered one of these and had it shipped to my neighbor as a present oh. <laughs> it work out well not two days later the dog barking was gone and their house even seems quieter it seems to have stuck <laughs> Stop the light. I'm telling you, we have been click baited. And this, this is some sort of amazing troll, I think. Patrick R has yeah. trapped us into this. Like Somewhere it. at the bottom of this, you're going to see Brown Elves and the Firearm Blog. He's telling <laughs> you. Somewhere in the end of this. Um, someone put like a picture of the ATF with a fake nose. Uh, someone <laughs> you, I love yeah, that. Someone I love says, that. what a 10 year trip to a federal all inclusive resort. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. And then someone says, totally not the ATF selling this. <laughs> yeah, so it's fun. It's, it's good for a good, it's a good laugh. It's a good laugh. Yeah. There you go. That was interesting. <laughs> fake news. Yeah. There you go. Fake Walter fake news. <laughs> fake news. Yeah. All right. So you guys have anything else? We've been doing this for a couple of hours. You know, we've had fun. I'm, I'm good. We've, uh, caught up. We should just call this the McGangbang episode. <laughs> there you go. You asked for it, you got it. The big yeah, bang, bang. we are okay. Lola's telling me we're getting Patrick R next Wednesday. He should be coming on unless nice. uh, we can ask him about yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> because uh, you know he's so he's so good, man. Patrick R, he's so good at like tricking us. Mm. You know, he's a con artist. He's like those Nigerian dudes that swear they're princes. You know, and they and like all they do is your bank account. <laughs> I didn't fall for it because I lived. I know about Nigerians, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I've been yeah. warning people for a long time. I, you know, hey, I love Nigeria. I used to live there. You know, um, my my brother Anonymous thinks I'm crazy because I actually like enjoyed living there. And he's like, I don't know what's wrong with you. Why do you think that was fun? Because that was not fun. <laughs> and I'm sure tomorrow or something, he's gonna call me to tell me like, I don't understand why you think Nigeria was so cool. But. Yeah. I know better. I know better. So, what was this? You sent me. You sent some kind of link. Okay, Babyface is trying to trap us into something, Walter. It's oh, just wait. a picture that says "not see. the ATF." It's that like clown face. Oh, let me look at it. I have, let me look at it. <laughs> yeah. Come um, on. Well, my thing is blocking it. Thankfully. Yeah, I didn't is see it. Blocking yeah. it. Yeah, my uh, my browser. Hold on, I have to put it in another browser. What? <laughs> yeah, I got to put it in another browser. Here, I'll put I, it on here for you. No, no, no. My, here, I'll open it. I'll open it here. Let's see what's going on with this thing. Uh, oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> it's just that picture. Yeah, it's yeah. that ATF. Um, Not it's the like ATF. something from Archer. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It looks that. like a yeah. It looks like a picture with Archer or something like that. that. Um, Been there, seen that. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, um, you know, let me. Uh, it's like the same. They have another one that's uh, Chris Hansen, and it's like that. Chris Hansen with the glasses, like. <laughs> no. Yeah, I think that's oh. where that story with the girl was going to. That's yeah, I think that's what it was. It was you got to finish reading that whole story, but it's a trap. <laughs> one, one, run one last thing before we go. Since Hank, you're, you, 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 you kind of know more about the rapper. You see the rapper that had the video where they. They hang the white kid. Um, yeah, I heard about that. There's well, everyone's yeah. getting hanged in that video, including the rapper. So if you look, like I read, if you uh, read through that article, I didn't look at the video because I don't like that kind of stuff. But he hangs yeah. everyone. He bless, hangs, bless his heart. Everybody gets bless hanged in the video. Heart. Bless his heart. You know, um, he's, you know, he's, he's just not prejudiced. He hates everybody. Yeah, he's just clickbaiting people. I know, I know. But still, and now I'm gonna go watch it. 
Damn yeah, it. Yeah, and now now we're going to make all these people go watch it. Thanks. Oh, I, I didn't watch it. I just saw the article about it. If you get it. any viruses, please forward all your emails yeah. to Walter Keller at Safety Harbor Firearms. Um, so so Lola wants to sh – so we've got the so, roll call here. Before we go, wait, let's shout out – Why don't you do that uh, check again? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know either. Um, so, so here's roll call. Tango Hunter, Cal L, Lawrence Lerwick, Jay Height, Chris B, Tyvin, Michael Smith, Joe Carpenter, Mr. Holster. That's Mr. You know, Holster. all the people that Lola's telling me to shout out. The Tyvin Show. Yeah, the Tyvin yeah. Show. we got to get the Tyvin Show to come on. Yeah. Um, don't forget, like if you want to get this, like this MDS, MDADS, from primary arms. Yeah. This what cool do you get? Right free dog. shipping and a uh, and a uh, and the mount uh, attachment and yeah. the mount. For free it. shipping and the mount from primary arms. Oh, cool. You know, or the scope rings. So yep. we've got a bunch of different things there. Not just cool. that, um, baby face. We were talking about this earlier. Patrick and I are supposed to be doing a video that on this. Very nice. Coming up. This is the platinum. This is like very jealous of top that. of the line. This is the Lamborghini. The Lambo. Primary arms. With the Japanese glass, so we're doing a video on that coming up. And uh, if you don't know, it's on the K and M um, Japanese. Japanese. I'm thinking 308. So that's the good glass. I don't know if you could put that on that on a 50. <laughs> what? Oh, that thing? Yeah, the platinum. I wonder well, if you could put that on a 50. Because people were asking us yesterday what uh, primary arms optics can go on a 50. Yeah, you, need to, you need to chat with them and ask him because. Yeah, hey, you should do some testing. Send us all the things. We'll test it on some a uh, yeah. gun from Walter. You'll find out pretty quick. Yeah, um, Michael Smith says, "Give Lola some love. Don't worry, I'll take care of that later on tonight." <laughs> like I said, you know my plan. I'm like a I'm like a lion. Sneak up on it. <laughs> on Sneak it. Sneak up on it. <laughs> so, <laughs> Al Chervik, shout out to Al Chervik in the in the roll call. Okay, Babyface, what do you have going on? We're gonna shoot some uh, some optic videos this weekend. That's what uh, we're gonna do. Yeah. Tomorrow's Friday, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Tomorrow's Friday. It's a weird Why? week. It's What's been a tomorrow? very weird week with weird the weird week. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I am not back in sync yet either. Mm -hmm. But you know, I'm glad that most people came through this whole uh, Florida thing. All right. I know we lost some people. We lost some people in that um, that hospital, man. Or oh, was it a nursing home? Oh, a nursing home. Nursing home. Nursing home. Yeah. Oh, shout out to Real Cujo, my friend. Real Cujo is in the building. In the house. Yeah, real Cujo is always looking out for us. Schmeggy42. Schmeggy. What's up to Schmeggy? Did I mention Both Lawrence Lerwick? I think I've, I've mentioned Lawrence Lerwick a couple of times on this. Uh, real Cujo. I know a bunch of people out there. So anyone who ordered the T-shirts, Walter, can you show the T-shirts again? Oh, oh, oh. Go ahead, show the T-shirts. This is just one of them. There There's you go. Check that. Too. Yeah, yeah. Who, move, who moves my freedom? I choose this one over the other one for some reason. I don't know why, but, you know, it's cool. Yeah, don't do don't do bad things to, to my Bitmoji. It, no, no, it's gonna get it's gonna get washed properly in the whole nine yards. I'll take okay. care of it. Yeah, okay. So next time we get <laughs> Thank together, you. I appreciate I'll, that. <laughs> I ain't gonna I ain't gonna defame you or anything. You know, yeah. take care. Of it. <laughs> yeah. So okay, well, Walter, what do you? Well, Babyface, did you tell us what you have been? Yeah, we're gonna shoot some optics this weekend. Have a good time. Yeah, absolutely. We're down with that, and maybe, uh, don't forget three hundred blackout. Thing. I was yep. gonna say maybe some some three hundred blackouts. We can do some blackouts. What day are you guys doing that? Well, we we've got. Well, here's the thing. So we've oh, it's got Franklin Armory. No. no, um, no. This is Fostex. Fostex, Fostex so Trigger Echo. Echo. What Echo day are you two. doing it on? What Saturday? day? What what day? Yeah, what day are we doing this, Babyface? Saturday is that fine? Or do you Saturday. Want to you want to, Yeah, you want to come over, Walter? I don't know. I might. Chum I might. Chum 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 on. Chum on. Chum on. Look, man, this, come up in a while, you know. Yeah, man, come on over. You're welcome. Look, let me, uh, got, let me, let me lock this on here. This is. I got something for Walter that I this need. It's very interesting in there. Look at that. I got something for you too. Interesting. Here, here, I got this for you. Uh oh. Oh yeah, Let's and then I, I need to go. And I, I got, got something for you right here. I got here this we go. I got the timing for you. Yeah. Yeah. I might yeah, uh, show him baby face. Show that again. Oh, Missed it. Yeah, uh, this is the original Luger Mac or his ugly Luger. Yeah, we got. Oh. You know, I got I got new grips for that gun, baby face. I just got to do a little filing on them and get them to fit a little fit bit. In. Yeah. Fit bring, bring okay, so we're shoot, having man. so we're shooting on the hacienda then on Saturday. Okay. Yep. So you, okay. Cool. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down with Saturday. That's cool. We'll get it. We'll get it going. Get it popping. Yeah. On Saturday. Okay. So Walter, what do you have going on? Um. Normal stuff around the shop. Um, I don't know what's going on this weekend. Maybe Saturday your place. I don't know. 
Oh, I thought you we oh, just oh. confirmed that you were coming. Now it's you don't know. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow night's my son's my son's birthday party. Okay. Happy birthday to Spencer. So, uh, Spencer. Spencer for hire. And then uh, um and then Saturday, yeah, maybe I'll come up Saturday. Yeah, it'd be fun. Lawrence Lorwick says, Who all's invited to come? Stranger Holics meeting. Hmm. <laughs> just no, we do have to we have to yeah. arrange something. Walter yeah. was gonna arrange something that we can get together and do a thing. I don't know what happened with that. I don't know what's going on. There was an event in October at the yeah. um, at the um I'll have to check and see if that's still going on in October. At yeah, the, we'll make something happen. If not in the future, um, Aries, Aries, that's what yeah. It is. If not in the future, I will. There will be something going on. I don't want to like talk about too much stuff because yeah, you know, there's certain <laughs> things I cannot reveal as of yet. Okay, but we will make something happen some point in the yeah. future, right? Yeah, we'll have a thing. You could come. You can hang out. You can get to rub Babyface's beard because he <laughs> likes that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, you dear. know, he likes he likes people rubbing his beard. Be um, me, you know, and it doesn't. And, you know, it doesn't have to just be chicks. It could Whoa. be dudes. He's okay. <laughs> I'll take you volunteering this for me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then you get to meet Walter. You can, you know, you can rub Walter in whatever parts he likes to uh -uh. get. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Don't touch me now. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Which there's not, so Tyvin's trying to make a meetup at my place. Uh, you know, Lola, that has to be negotiated with Lola. But yeah, we can't, yeah. you know, we will we will work I will work out something where people can come and hang out and do something with us. Yeah, but we, we have to we have to figure out the proper venue for that. So yeah, right there's place. a whole bunch of uh legal and uh safety reasons and all that. Right, right, right. We gotta figure that out. We have to do that the right way. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to be that dude on the news like YouTuber. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, there's already enough YouTubers getting Close in trouble. Of fans. Yeah, we don't need yeah, no problem. Yeah, you know, I I don't want to be that the like the next YouTuber that goes up there. No, thank you. I don't <laughs> want that kind of notoriety. So, you know, um, you know, but we'll make it happen. We'll make something happen. Yeah. All right. So, hey. anything else, Walter? Nope, nope. Just your normal stuff. Uh, YouTube, Facebook. Uh, Stem parts. What's going on with stem parts? Um, yeah, we're still working on the website stuff, redoing the websites. And, um, okay. So okay. Normal cool. kind of stuff. All right. Sweet. Okay. So I want to thank everyone that's in the hangout, hanging out with us, making comments, sharing the video, and all that kind of good stuff. I want to remind you guys that we are on iTunes. So we've got like up to, I think we're up to 55 episodes on the iTunes, dudes. 55. 55 episodes on the iTunes 55. and I know people are downloading them. There's thousands when I look at the thing It's like thousands of people. Wow. That's awesome. So yeah downloading it. Um, so that's pretty awesome You know, so when if you do that if you listen to it on iTunes make sure to leave us like a positive like five-star review um, I want to thank everyone that sponsors us like uh, Safety Harbor Firearms Walter and the rest of the family as well as Rand CLP of course um, Andrews custom leather and you know, the Big Daddy Guns right there. Big Daddy. The Big right. Daddy Guns. That's how we do all this stuff. Shout out to Big Daddy Guns. And, um, of course, we cannot forget the folks who support us on Patreon. We are uh, Babyface. What Hank are we Strange on slash Patreon? Uh, Patreon slash Hank Strange. <laughs> yeah, you see, you almost got it there. <laughs> Patreon, yeah, Patreon slash Hank Strange. That's it. Thanks to everyone. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. You know what we do now. Peace out. Peace. Bye-bye.